Somnium. 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 Oh, squeaky chair. Squeaky chair. <laughs> what? What are you doing, Cherry? Singing with me? Squeaky chair. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like elephant saxophone. <laughs> and then and then you know, Francis York Morgan turns to to someone else. It's like, what do you think about that? <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Uh, this is a good angle for that. What if I move? Oh? What if I move to the other way? Oh, there's, there's different notes I can play. Alright. I need to get the, uh, get the, the shelf back in my desk so I can put my foot up. Oh, man. Alright, um... So this is the first chance I've had to sit back down at this computer since yesterday. So I didn't even get a chance to listen to the audio to see if it was okay on this headset. I was able to listen to it back a little bit on the computer downstairs when I was hanging out with the family. Mostly the dogs. I've had to. I've had to. The dogs are are more loose than they've ever been, and um, I'm trying to help them. You know, with that transitionary period. Transition. Transitionary. Transitionary period. Um, you know, making sure the family's all right, but yeah. Trans, do yeah, trans dogs, yep, yeah, trans dogs. Okay, stream manager. I always knew Yoshi was secretly a bitch. That's let's let's just leave it at that. He's actually been pretty been pretty good lately. Gatsby's been a little bit more trouble. Do you know that because of the chair, someone in the comments typed, "I can hear the obesity." I'm not obese. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little overweight, but I'm not that overweight. And I just, the chair is just squeaky. I mean, you can be a, a big person without being overweight. Like, I'm, I'm six foot even and I'm pretty broad. Like, I'm, I'm well built for someone who doesn't do that much exercise. I guess I got a, I guess I got a little accidental exercise because of the kids and the dogs. Can you still find your penis? Not only can I still find my penis, my window's open. So I better listen to, you know, watch what I'm saying. So yeah, we're trying something new today. Uh, at the end of stream yesterday, um, I turned my, um, I turned my microphone off. And on the, the um, audio interface, the little box I have, I'll have a little focus right box that, you know, everyone does. It's the law. If you, if you have a, a XLR microphone, you have to have a focus right um, audio interface. That's the only ones they sell. Um, it's uh, it's it's got metal plating around it, and it's on top of my computer right now. And at the end of stream yesterday, um, I put my hand on that to turn it off, and it was I don't know maybe an degree away from burning my hand when I touched it. It was so hot in here. So um, I, for the last hour, I've had um, the the door closed with the heat pump on cooling it down here and now the window is open which is probably going to make it some of the cool air get out of here but i think it's worth it overall to have like a breeze coming in so the window is open so you might hear some background noise i'm not sure if the microphone will pick that up uh the microphone is facing away from the window so it shouldn't or it should be less but we'll see um also i did saw the corner off of the door so the door is closed and locked so we won't have any um interruptions although yesterday it was kate that came in not fit oh 
<sighs> Joe, why did you put 1 p.m. East EST but start 1 p.m. EDT? Is it is it not 1 p.m. EST right now? Yeah, it's 1 p.m. EST right now. Yeah. Daylight savings? What, what does daylight savings have to do with it? When daylight, when daylight savings comes into effect, doesn't EST change with it or no? EST versus EDT? Yeah, but isn't EST, doesn't that change with it? Like whenever, whenever I I lived in the EST time zone for a long time, and whenever there was daylight savings, like moving or back and forth, we we didn't like adopt like oh now we're in the EDT time zone like like that was never something that we did ever. We always just stayed in EST. The time zone is different in the Japanese. Really, that's true. That's true. I forgot about that. You do go both from EST to EDT, but colloquially people call both EST. Okay, well that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm using. EST EST is is always what we used. We should just get rid of it. I'm sorry. Are we backseating time zones now? If you Google what time is it, does it not say does it not say EDT? Mine says C D C D T. I'm not I'm not in E D T. I'm not in E E D T or E S T at the moment. Like I'm I'm in Atlantic time. When I Google what time is it E S T, it tells me that it's it's one p.m. E T. It doesn't have a D or an S. Why would the time zone move? I don't understand. Just use universal Linux time. No, no, no. Fuck Linux. I, d I don't. I don't acknowledge Linux. It's a waste of an operating system. It's a waste of time. No, just brings everyone down. Oh no! What about the Linux port? Oh, it doesn't work on Linux. Oh no. I had to go to university for a six-year degree just to learn how to fucking start my operating system. Oh, no. Oh, I'm on year seven. I can finally compile my own version of a word processor on Linux. Here we go. Like, yeah, here we are. Greetings, friend. I know it's been 10 years since we last spoke, but it has taken me this long to learn how to use email on my Linux computer. I hope you are well. How old is your child now? I hope soon we can meet up again. All right, I have I have OBS open, I have uh, chat open, I have uh, I can see my sub feed, I can see how many viewers are here. All right, so so it's story time. It's story time. All right, story time. Then we'll get into the game. All right, so <clears throat> last night, uh, I was you know running uh interception on the dogs and i was sitting in my chair and i was clicking in evolve idol and finn was on my lap and he was playing dark souls <clears throat> he had just killed the the armored boar he has a claymore and i'm like paying attention but i'm also not like watching the screen intently anyway so he suddenly like turns to me and says daddy what does dark spirit mean and i said what and he's like it just said dark spirit something on the screen <laughs> I 
So he he he's he taught himself how to kindle bonfires. So he kindled a bonfire. All right. So I so I look at him and my eyes just kind of go wide and I go, uh oh. And he's like and he's like what? And I'm like uh oh. And, then, <laughs> and I'm like someone's here. And then we both look at his screen and then. <laughs> It was perfectly timed. <laughs> this red spirit rounds the corner. So he's in... Do you know Do you know after you fight the boar and you go down the stairs and you're in that kind of like little, little like room where you have to like climb a ladder to get up this little, this little branching one if you didn't, if you didn't run in time to get under the gate. So like he's, he's in, he's in that room, right? So he turns around and this, this red spirit rounds the corner. It has a pinwheel mask on. <laughs> An armor set that I've never seen. <laughs> and some big ass sword that I don't recognize either. <laughs> so so he, he comes over and Finn Finn just runs at it. Instincts kicked in. Finn runs at the guy. Swings his claymore, whiffs completely, <laughs> goes for another hit, whiffs again. The guy hasn't moved at all. So he goes over overhand, down, up, third hit, also whiffs, the guy's just staring. Okay? So then so then Finn turns around, the guy and then the the guy runs at him, and then Finn still had enough stamina for an attack and the guy wasn't expecting it. So he turns so Finn turned around and and the swung his claymore again and actually landed a hit. Okay, he landed a hit. Now, my boy is like leveled up, I don't know, five or six times. He's only five or six times leveled, all right? Has a claymore in the starting area. He's in undead parish, okay? Lands a hit. It did 40 damage. I don't know what the hell kind of twink ass gear this this invader was wearing. He landed a hit with a claymore at that level, and it did 40 damage, all right? <laughs> so then the guy hit him <laughs> stunned him both in game and IRL he just kind of stared at the screen and stopped moving and then walked around him and backstabbed him and he died <laughs> and then and he was like, "What was that?" And I was like, "That's that's when you when you when you kindled the uh, the 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 bonfire, um, you uh, if you're a human, you uh, I explained it to him. I was like, you, "You can get in, you can get invaded." And he's like, "Is that gonna guy gonna, gonna be there forever?" And I'm like, "No, he's not gonna be there forever. Don't worry. Just you know, if if you want to kindle your bonfire, just use the humanity, and then afterwards, you know, just just jump off a cliff, just kill yourself, and you won't be able to get invaded." And he and he's like, oh okay, but he's not gonna be there. So I'm like, he's not gonna be there. He's not gonna be there. And I'm like, okay. And then uh, Lily, Lily was sitting on the armchair next to us, and I was like, and I and I and I explained to her what just happened, and I'm like, this this guy was the the shit he was wearing. This is this is stupid. Like I was angry on my child's behalf. I was like, this is stupid. I hate I hate how invaders can just make it so unfair in this game. They can have the best gear and just load up and then just destroy you. And then Finn was like, well. Well, I'm gonna go get the best sword, and I'm gonna get the best armor, and then I'm gonna invade him back, and then he's gonna be the loser! <laughs> I was like, okay, good luck. <laughs> he also, he also killed, I'm sorry to have so many Finn stories, but he's playing Dark Souls, so I figure you guys might find it fun. He also, he, he was having a lot of trouble at the big, I don't know what that guy's called. Um, you know the guy that's in front of the first Firekeeper soul in, in the church? Who has the big mace and the big shield? Who, who's, who's that? What, 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 what's he called? Big, big silver knight dude. So, Bob. Alright, Bob. So, like, he, he's been trying, he's been trying to kill him for, for a while, alright? Like, he, he can't do it. Um, so, so today, <laughs> I'm proud, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know if, I don't know if that's a good thing. Instead of killing him, he just lured him over to, to a drop, and then just, they just both jumped off together. <laughs> So he's dead. So he because he doesn't respawn. So like he, technically he he beat the encounter. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't know. He's pretty good at finding the Baldur Knights though. Like because those are pretty hard. 
Um, he he uh, he one shot the the trio that that's in the room next to that. He killed all three of them on his first try, um, which I'm surprised because uh, that's that's a hard fight. All all three of those knights together, like that's that's a hard fight. Like he engaged all three. He he um, he killed all three. Three. He really likes the claymore, so he uh, he's doing well with the claymore. Whom is he talking about? I'm talking about my oldest my oldest son. Um, Finn is playing Dark Souls for the first time. Pretty sure that boss is the Baron Baron Nikki Knight. Is he a he's a mini boss, right? Hey, do you know you have a cult at my school? Do I? That sounds terrifying. Shield or two-handing? He's using a shield, but he is he's switching between the two of them regularly. So I'm I'm happy he's doing that because that's that's really how you should be playing Dark Souls, and it can be a bit hard to to do that, um, especially your first time. But yeah, he he's he's uh he's switching between them. How old is Finn? He's eight in August. Oh, uh, it is August. He's he's eight this month. He's eight in uh, in two weeks. He's not doing um. He's he's not fat rolling, but he's in the middle. He he has the 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 middle roll, so that's not bad. Like I like to play with the fast roll, but like yeah, he's he's doing that. Did he die in the catacombs of New London? Sorry, he did not. No, he 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 went the right way. He got lucky. He has been down to New Londo. I told him. I was like, you can't. It's like, you, you go down here, like, and I'm like, you can't. You're not going to be able to do anything. You're not going to be able to fight the ghosts. Okay? Like, you're not going to be able to fight the ghosts. He comes back to me, like, like hours later going, actually, daddy, you actually can kill the ghosts. You just have to use this item that you find down there. And after you use the item, then, then you can actually kill the ghosts. And I'm like, oh, God, fucking hell. Like, you're right, but I didn't want to tell you that because I didn't want you down there wasting your goddamn time fighting these ghosts when there's nothing to do down there. Which one are we on? I think the manual save, right? It's so loud. Ryuki is supposed to be here? You were in charge of the HB case, weren't you? Ryuki's memories may hold the answer. Mizuki, the time limit with Insomnium is six minutes. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. I was so close to finally forgetting. Something Mizuki, happened six years ago that cook. I don't know about. What was it? Oh yeah, damn. Okay, so does does this uh? Wait, I pressed F one. Does this thing um? The time tick down even when the game's off. What haunted spot would you like to go to? Graveyard, old battlefield, ruins, mountains, old battlefield. Ochi Musha ghosts are scary. -y. They usually have arrows in their heads. -y. Thank you. Next question. All right. If you have a divine weapon in Dark Souls 1, can you kill the ghosts without having to use Transient Curse? Or is the divine weapon only to permakill skeletons? No, you still have to use the Transient Curse even with a divine weapon? Oh, you need a cursed weapon. Oh, okay. Discord announcement? Yeah, Discord announcement, one second. Look at that snail interrupting the tongue. Oh, that snail just owned that tongue there. Oh no. Oh, damn. If you're not on Jad, someone just tried to do a triple combo of emotes in a row, which is the Ogdo Pogdo with, with the two tongue pieces afterwards. And there is a snail between the two tongue pieces now because someone got snailed. Oh, oof. Oof, say something funny. I went to the zoo the other day. It was terrible. They only had one animal. 
it was a dog. It was. It was a Shih Tzu. Uh. I hate this game by. All right. Well, I I I uh really want to know. All right. I was going to start every single stream with um with reading the character files. But I I just have to know how is he here? Okay? All right. So how is he here? Some perception feel that's making everyone see something differently. It, none of this is actually real. It's a different timeline. It's a, a mask. Like how he did his head exploded, right? Is that the right eye? I think so. Why you're here? It's my senior agent, Date. I thought you were on vacation. Yeah, new labor laws. I'm supposed to be on break. Then why are you here? Well, why not? I was bored, so I thought I'd come play darts. This is supposed to be a place of business. Could you not play around in here? Uh-huh. This is a store. What? This room is full of things to play with. Yeah, it's true. It's true. That's true. About your face. Hmm? Is there something on my face? Well... Um, the face you have now isn't your real face, is it? You got your old body back during the new Cyclops serial killings case, so... Okay. Did you get plastic surgery to look like this? Yeah, well, I decided to have a custom mask made. Why? Everyone knows me by this face. Why? Besides, this one is, uh, more popular with the ladies. I don't think it makes much of a difference. Shut up! What? By the way, Jin Furu didn't have a silicone mask on. I know because I x rayed. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so now anyone can just look like anyone else because of, of this mask bit. Alright. <laughs> Looks cool, doesn't it? I'm wearing the patch because Iba ran away from home. That's not the whole story, though, is it, Dante? You tried to watch a VR video of bikini girls splitting watermelons at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> so specific. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Man. I'm done being your partner. A water. <laughs> this is it. This is what broke up the band. So I have leapt out of Dante's eye socket and ended up at my place. What? So she's at your house right now? No, she's working on a top secret mission. All of those animal husbandry videos, and this is what broke the the camel's back. What mission? If I told you, it wouldn't be top secret. Whoa, why is it moving? That's weird. They kept resetting to the middle there. I saw the news last night. I talked to Boss earlier too, so I know the gist of what's going on. A corpse suddenly appeared in the middle of a live stream, right? And for some reason, just the right half. Like it traveled through time and space. Advice? I only give advice when I'm drinking, shall we? It's not even noon yet. Who cares? I'm on vacation. Well, I'm not. Come on. My treat, as usual. I've seen Mr. Date drunk several times before, but not once have I seen him open his no, wallet. No, I'll just handle this myself. What? Drink with me. What? Okay, so, um... Let us go through the character bios and see if there's anything funny. Although the ones we read yesterday weren't as good as the ones from the first game. Do, 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 do. But first, let me say thank you to some people. Who was the last person I said thank you to yesterday? 
I think it was Ryan Wolf T. Yes. So thank you to Monsoon MT for subbing all the streams down. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Altel RRR or Triple R for the resub. Thank you, Miss Bulldozer for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Annie for Prez for subscribing. Thank you also to Flashplex TV. I feel like I've, I've read your name like three, four times now in the past two streams. Thank you very much for Flashplex TV for the resub. Thank you, Sage Moon 341. Thank you also to Snot Girl, Horox F, Hyperbole, Liquin, Liquin, L I C Q N. It's got to be Liquin. Thank you, The Blackjack uh, 21 as well. Thank you also to. Ermazings, Aldair's Ghost. Thank you, Penultimate12. I love the word penultimate for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Senrahin for the resub. D Harris Carlin uh, for the resub as well. Thank you, Phoenix Furion for getting out 10 subs. Thank you very much, Phoenix. Thank you, The Chum Bussy for the resub. Thank you, David on Twitch for the. Re I, I I just I just said that like so nonchalantly like just like yeah whatever that's a, that's a word I say. Thank you thank you David on Twitch for the resub. And thank you, uh, Rabitax, also for the resub. Kind of sounds like a Pokemon. Rabitax, Rabitax, Rabitax. Thank you very much. Thank you again for those gifted subs, Phoenix Furion. That, that's very nice of you. Thank you very much. Let us. I heard a car. Uh, it's okay with the window open. We're, we're good. Let us read the character bios. Evaluation. Oh. You can check your evaluation by performing certain actions during these story achievements to be unlocked and expected rank will go up. Higher ranks earn better prizes. What, from, from boss's store? There's 10 of these? Oh, no. No. 48? Okay, some of them have multiple endings, though. Some of them might have, like, three or four endings. Okay. I feel like I need to sneeze. Phew, I was right. Okay, so 16 years ago, we have Mizuki. Uh, did we read this one already? Skills, martial arts, sixth grader, likes tonkatsu, manja. Aw, dude, manja? Eel, metal pipe, iris. Uh, dislikes raw fish perverts. Her father and mother, Renju Okira and uh, Shoko Nadami, have passed away. Yeah, they're both dead. Okay. She has been adopted by Kaname Date and uses his last name. She sometimes assists Date when he needs fighting power. Gets along well with Iris, Amame, and Kizuna. Who? Ryuki. Kyoto Ryuki, sex male, age 23, October 18th. Uh, likes justice, duty, loyalty, Date. He likes Date, really? Huh. Hmm. Okay. Dislikes evil, cheating, wicked thoughts, lies, uh... Demissions? What? Oh, demotion! Oh, fucking hell, okay. Demotions, oh, okay. Sorry. Hobbies, collecting... What's what's a kerchie and why did they feed it to her? <laughs> oh man. Bro, can you read? Bro, can you catch this ban? Oh ho ho oh damn! Oh damn, holy shit! Owned owned uh just so everyone knows, um that said a possible ban evader um monitoring, so uh, it was it was just worth it for the bit because they were probably a band dodger. All right, uh, skills parkour gun fu really gun fu gun fu overview a highly educated rich boy hired right out of school. He lost his parents in a plane crash when he was young. Mm, did we ever see the bodies? He had been living with his younger brother until he too passed away when he was still in high school. Huh. All right, kind of a sus background. Not gonna lie. Collect uh, hobbies collecting. Convertibilna Marka. Convertibilna Marka. It is a currency. 
Bosnia. Huh, okay. Why? Hmm, well, why? Everyone needs a hobby. Tama. <clears throat> Name Tama. Uh, sex female according to settings. Age zero. 30th of April. Profession investigation assistant. Likes comedy. Anything perverted. S and M. A E 10 D 1 F. A E 10 D 1 F. Okay. Not getting any answer. Um, dislikes dense people, dishonest people, bad liars. Hobbies, watch, she, she, doesn't, she doesn't mind liars. It's bad liars she doesn't like. Hobbies, um, watching comedy videos, tanning, horse racing. What? Skills, bondage, wax play, spanking. All right then, overview. I, AI ball, an autonomous robot with an advanced eye. She you, she's usually in the shape of an eyeball and resides in Ryuki's left eye socket. She assists Ryuki by gathering information, connecting to networks and databases, and using her X-ray and thermographic functions. Why isn't she partnered with uh, with Date? Komiji, Yoniharu Enda, male, 46, 12th of April birthday, profession comedian, uh, likes Ferris wheels, things that spin, bow ties, family, dis family, family. This likes Oden. That's a type of food, isn't it? Super hot baths. Ele who likes a super hot bath? Who likes being scalded? Electric shocks. Who likes electric shocks? Well, Tama probably likes electric shocks. Spicy food and pie. Who doesn't like pie? What? What the hell is this? Hobbies. Game commentary. Short clip submissions. Survival games based. Skills, quizzes, one-liners, self-proclaimed. Something of a one-liner myself. Over you, a former quiz king turned comedian. His stage name is Andes Komiji. He has made some TV appearances, but isn't very successful. His money troubles led to a divorce from his wife, and he now lives with his son, Shoma. All right, are we gonna see that later? So she likes comedy videos, and that's why she stuck up for him when, when it was about uh, being a comedian. The D. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Name uh, Jin. Uh, businessman, writer. He was 29 and he was born on the 20th of August. That's sus. That's really sus. What the hell? 29, 29? Unknown likes, dislikes, hobbies, skills. Overview CEO of, um, of uh, Music Food Co. Limited. Music food? He held high positions at various other enterprises. He was also a writer and released some of his essays to the media. His right half was found at Studio uh, Deveda? 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 Boss. Shizui Kuranushi. Did we have her name before? Female 43. 43? 21st of December birthday. Commander of Abyss. Likes wine, gourd dolls, anything shiny and black best girl. This likes tidying up nuclear families, ex-boyfriends, who superior, her superiors at HQ. Hobbies, frequently frequenting host clubs in Kabukicho. Kabukicho. God, Kabukicho. 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 Okay, d read this part first, and then this is, is one. Alright. Kabukicho. There you go, we got it. So, Skills. Finding weaknesses and exploiting them to ensure total obedience. Overview. Ryuki's direct superior as well as Date's old friend. Her mood changes on a daily basis. I mean, that's just being a human. She gives off a carefree vibe, but she's as cunning as a fox. Iris. Can't believe she's in this one too. 18, 26th of October. Sakiba High Senior. Sorry, Internet Idol. Sakiba High Senior. Did it say what school she was in? Maybe it's the same school. Maybe it's in, in the other file. Singing, dancing, the occult, Mizuki, friends, dislike scary people, hobbies, singing, dancing, game, commentary, skills, runs really fast. Eh, it wasn't that fast. Overview, an internet idol affiliated with uh, Lemiscate. Her idol name is Aset. You bet, but her, fan, but her fans call her Tessa. She has tons of close friends like Mizuki, Kizuna, and Amame, and Ota. Moma, chairman. Of, is this all the same stuff that was from the, from the first game? K 
Okay, watching Ace of Okay, so far these aren't as good as they were in the in the first one. Likes Gandhi, puff puff A set. Leader of the Accuser group tr uh, trying to clean up their act. That being said, he is also connected to the criminal underbelly and has access to information that even police don't know. Chinpei likes ass. All right, it's him. Erotic novels, his boss. Dislikes police, his big brother, animal cruelty, training dogs, video editing. Detect. Oh, this one's new. Name, Makoto, or my, my, is it Mikoto? Mikoto Ushidera. Male, 42. Is it the same age as the boss? No, 43 and 42. Uh, 4th of January, profession, police HQ detective, likes caramel, chocolate, biscuits, ice cream. Dislikes threats and foxes. Uh-oh, you don't like the boss. Uh-oh. Hobbies, mobile games. One second. I think the Lily Cafe is, uh... Is delivering. Is it delivery or Dujana? That's the cafe. It's the rig. Thank you. How's everybody? They're okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're okay. Yeah. yeah. Are they trying to come upstairs? Someone said to go back, there was a skill. Skills squinting really hard to see through the censor censorship. <laughs> Wait, can you do that? Is that is that is such a power possible? Uh, skills can use cling wrap without messing it up. Whoa. Holy shit. That, that is a skill. I am really impressed by that. Holy fuck. God damn. Overview. A detective from Police HQ investigating the murders, having found multiple culprits in cold cases of cold cases in the past. He is known as... <laughs> The Melter. <laughs> That's really good. The Melter and the Terror. Are they working together? What? Inspector, why is your photo up here? What's with the weird kind of like, is this because uh, we're in eyeball land? Male, um, it's Kagami. Inspector likes ear picks, dandelions, afros, uh, keseren, pa passeren. Dislikes cilantro. Yeah, me too. Gink go. People who don't remember his name. Train surfing. Extreme ironing. I remember extreme extreme ironing. Okay, so this is this is all the same. All right, so this there wasn't really much new here. Although there are more people here now, so um, we'll kind of like gloss over that when we when we when we go into the the old files. All right, so these are new ones. We read this one yesterday. Sakiba. All right, so it's the same high school that Iris went to. Okay. Aiba, we did this one. Ryuki. Okay, so... How has it changed? Still likes justice, duty, loyalty, and date. Dislikes evil, cheating, wicked thoughts, lives, and himself. Hmm. What did he do? What did you do? Drinking to oblivion, hobby, parkour, gun fu, still... Severely emotionally scarred from the case six years ago. He was already mentally unstable, but it got worse. Supposed, supposedly, he knows something important about the, the HB case. Okay, so are you any different? No, same thing. Boss is now uh, 49. Dislikes tidying up. Finding weaknesses and explain them to ensure total obedience. Ryuki's direct superior, Mi Mi Mizuki's adoptive adoptive mother. What? And Date's old friend. Her mood changes on a daily basis. Okay. OK. 
Okay, some shit went down. Oh, it's Pewter! Age 43, uh, likes multiples of 16, chairs, uh, Tokoroten, Amore, dislikes bugs, cats, conservatives, cyclopses, hobbies, playing with machines, collecting doujins, playing pretend magical girl, and breaking out of prison, skills, building models, imitating vivuzelas, uh, an abyss engineer and mechanic, his main job is operating and maintaining the sink machine, he created the eyeballs, Iba and Tama, he got his clothes off eHarbor. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you make Tama that way, Pewter? <laughs> Why? Detective. Alright, this seems like it's gonna be the same thing. Cling wrap still. Police HQ, Special Investigation Detective. His department specializes in cold cases six years ago. Ushidera was in a different department, but since the HB case was unsolved, he moved. Okay. Inspector. Train surging? That was surfing before, now it's surging. What? Why is it not capitalized? That's weird. And Kagami is now, it's now, is that, is that the same name? Araya, Ara Ayaya, Araya, Araya. Huh. Ayaya, ayaya. A talented inspector, he was assigned to the case by Police HQ due to his impressive skills. He's looking for a girlfriend, but addicted to dating apps. Oof. 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 Okay, here here's a a a potentially weird question. All right, chat, chat. All right. So, I have I have not been. Okay, this is gonna sound really weird. Okay, I have not been single as an adult. I I met Lily in high school, and and that was it. I was done. Okay, so I I like that's it. All right, like I I've been with Lily for a long time. All right. The the to me dating is that you go you you find like some common place where you can run into some people, share some hobbies, you find somebody. That, that's that's how you meet somebody but my understanding is that's changed now and it's all about dating apps right it's all about dating apps so like as as a parent do i need to prepare my children for the world about how you interact with these kind of systems and shit like because as a parent you in in the olden days used to be like you know here's how here's how courtship works Here's how you're supposed to meet people and like, you know, you, you go on dates and stuff like that. Like now, now that we're in a, a different kind of place, am I supposed to like be like being able to pass down some knowledge and some like some experience with when it comes to like, hey, you have to, this is how you meet people, you use apps and shit. Like, like, or do I need to like, like maybe if it's not me, do I need to facilitate the learning process for, for my children at some point? We like, you know, like find, find someone who knows how to, how to use the, the apps. They'll learn from friends. How are the friends learning? If you don't, Andrew Tate will. Yeah, that's that. That's the problem. Yeah, I, that's that's the issue. Like no joke. There was there was a, a, a some. Okay, I can't I can't say this because it's dirty. Okay, so a couple of years ago, I was on a website. You can guess which one, and they were discussing that after a um <clears throat> after a gentleman spends some quality time with himself you know thinking about ronald mcdonald that when it comes to um cleaning themselves up it is it is better to use cold water than it is to use warm water because warm water will make the mess harder to clean than cold water okay this 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 is actually it's true yes okay there there were there were many people in the comments that were saying okay stuff like like i didn't know that what the fuck what the fuck i didn't know that no one taught me that and then a bunch of people were responding to these people and saying wow look at all these people that didn't have a big brother okay because the big brother is supposed to teach you this shit and then i'm reading that and i'm going well who's fucking teaching the big brother 
Who, who's who's teaching the big brother to pass that down on to the little brother? Like, wh how, how is this not, that doesn't explain shit? That's just weird. Is it? I didn't have a big brother. Do brothers not talk about that sort of stuff? There's always a, big, a bigger brother. Older friends? Who's teaching the older friends? Does it just all come back to having like a like a like a, like a parent that's willing to talk about these things, and then it just kind of kind of ripples out? Please don't make suggestive jokes about Joe's kid. Oh, if anyone's doing that, just ban them outright. Yeah. Older brothers don't talk about this stuff. Can confirm? Oh, don't they? I see. I don't. I don't have a brother, so I wouldn't know. So, do, do brothers don't typically don't don't talk about that sort of thing, even even if it's just like kind of awkward like advice being passed down? No. Because the comments were making it out to be that this is just something that 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 brothers do, you know. Like a big brother will 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 give some some like little tidbits of life advice to the younger brother that maybe the like is inappropriate to come from a father. You know what I mean? Hmm. You can still do meeting people in normal ways. Please teach your kids about netiquette. So many kid people th think kids just learn by themselves nowadays, and it's fucked. Netiquette? What the fuck is netiquette? Is that how to how is that etiquette online? Netiquette. Netiquette thus describes the rules of conduct for respectful and appropriate communication on the internet. Netiquette is often referred to as etiquette for the internet. These are not legally binding rules, but recommended rules of etiquette. Oh, why don't you start with your fucking self, Balder? Fucking Lord of the Backseaters. What do you mean? Or oh, I should teach people fucking netiquette. What do you start at home? Clean your own fucking room, fucking Boulder Peterson. What the, what the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? We have to, we have to start here with chat and we'll work our way out. I think that does have to be taught. Yeah, th this is kind of where it's coming from. Like, cause no joke, I was thinking about it. How, how like, part of being a parent now is like teaching kids how to navigate like the internet world and, and along with like the real world and that you have to teach them like like don't type in all caps you know as, as, as a starter but also after that like how to do a google search how to find things on uh, how to find things out like like my opinion is that the 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 most important skill to learn is how to teach yourself something is how, how to investigate and, and reading comprehension that sort of thing that is that is the the most important thing to 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 learn um second most important thing to learn is communication skills so you can tell other people and explain to other people what you've learned because if you know something but you can't explain it to somebody else then it's kind of kind of useless it, there's probably some cases for it depending on what your job is but like most of the time you have to be able to communicate with other people no matter what so that's that's number two um also, I, I, I personally, I don't know if this is goes for, for most people, I personally find that I will um, reach a higher level of understanding of something after I have explained it to somebody else. The process of having to learn how to explain something to somebody else will solidify a lot of the knowledge in my head. And um, so it's, it's very useful to have that, have that kind of, uh, kind of that skill and that kind of process, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do about about the whole, the whole uh, dating app thing, because that, that's that's a whole other world. And even if it wasn't that, like 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 I said, like I've been I've been I've never been uh, single as an adult, which is kind of is that kind of is that kind of sad or is it not sad? I don't know. Like. Like. I don't want to go back and change it, but at the same time, I feel like maybe I'm, I missed some life experience that could pass down. I, I'm, I'm looking at this more as a father than anything else. Huh. Anyway, let's play the game. 
Uh, let's not read this. We don't need to read the appendix in until we have more in it. Internet stranger danger stuff is also important because less because because less people are dangerous, and therefore it's easier to fall into something like that. And I don't only mean like normal stranger danger stuff, but stuff stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like um, that that's that's a big thing too. Yeah, I I already have that uh, mapped out in my head that I have to uh, um, set them up properly for that. Yeah, like realizing when when someone is doing something, uh, but like it's basically kind of like lear learning how to see propaganda, which is scary because there's probably some propaganda that I am susceptible to and I don't even realize it. Um, that's that's hard. Like all of us are probably susceptible to some to some sort of stuff like that. Yeah. Um, also, invaders in Dark Souls can can be pretty dangerous. How do you like eating your jellyfish? I don't. I don't. Pickled miso soup, Chinese salad with peanuts. I don't at all. Pickled, so I can throw it out. Pickled. It's nice and bony. <laughs> Evolved to so e received 1,000 eyeballs as a reward. That's a lot. I became an adult -y. Thanks so much for talking to me so much-y. eyeball -y strategy guide has been added to the manual in the file. Thank you. Next question. Okay. Reminds me of you, boss. Which part? I remember her saying, her saying some factoid about Tanukis that got spread around. That's probably what Mr. Dathi was talking about. Oh yeah, I remember that. What are you looking at, Ryuki? I was just looking at the round... Uh, the round... Pervert. No, no, no! That's not what I meant! You can touch him if you want to. No, you absolutely cannot. I mean, I think we can. I don't think you can. I think we can when you're not here. I think that's already happened a nice lot. And soft. Oh my god, Tama. It feels kind of soothing being here. Anything to promote office wellness. What are you talking about? Well then, you won't mind if I join you. I'm kidding. Her name is Tama. She's the kind of robot known as an eyeball, and right now I suppose her gender is set to female. She's usually nested in my left eye socket and supports me on investigations. She's my left eye and also my partner. Most of my conversations with Tama are done in my mind. That goes for when she's in my eye socket and while she's out and about Tama, like this. show me the news. That's not how you ask for a favor, is it? I beg of you, Lady Tama. Hmm, how about this? Tama is connected to my brain through a wireless link. That's how we're able to exchange information while Tama is out of my eye socket. Wait, Tama. I said news, not nudes. <laughs> this is neither. I see a stupid looking man's face. Like this. Looking good, Ryuki. This is how I appear in Tama's vision. Don't worry, I'm fine. You're trying to convince yourself, aren't you? Thoughts on this game to the committed to the first one so far? Uh, it just feels like more of the first one, and more of the um the you know the baseline part of the first one. There hasn't been anything so far that's been like, whoa, that was really cool. It's just been kind of like you know, it's it's fine. It just feels like more of the the average parts of the first game so far. Poor Ryuki, you're exhausted. It's all right now because I am here, Half Might. Half for all, we are full-time heroes! Half might? Like, cut in half? Ryuki? You feeling okay? Maybe we should have a doctor take a look at you. Okay, that sounds like the, the pill line from the first game, which actually was important. Yeah, I'll try. You'll try? What the hell is that? Why don't you say it like you mean it, asshole? It's your duty to solve this case. This is why you're here, isn't it? I got it, Tama. You can close it. Okay, we can't inspect anything from the back. Okay. Wanna see it again? No. No, 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 no. No. Thank you. Alright, cool. I saw the video last night and... What is it, Ryuki? The QR code on that sign was shown during the livestream, too. 
Yeah, quite clearly. That means it was seen by people around the world. They say the view cube video and the link got several million views. Around the world, or the account is the... already deleted. But you know how it is. People uploaded copies to other sites almost immediately. That means the actual number of people who saw it is several times greater. Anything strange happened since? What do you mean? Maybe a bunch of people being sent to the hospital after seeing the video or something. No, I haven't heard any reports like that so far. I see. Like I said, the uploader of the original video is unknown. Hmm. Okay, you're done. How long are you going to keep that here? <sighs> Until I get a new boyfriend. Then it's gonna stay there forever. Tate, I'm assigning you to Venezuela. Good luck! Okay, so they, they do this to each other, and I notice this happens in some anime games, where there are, like, dare I say, objectively very attractive people that, like, rib each other and say, you ugly fuck, no one's gonna like you, oh, you're gonna be single forever. Like, are they, is it a bit, or do they mean it? Is it, like, because with women especially, I notice that they it, sometimes it doesn't feel like it's a joke. It's a bit, it is? Okay. It's just how friends joke around. Yeah, I know that, but, well, I would if I had any friends, but, but sometimes in, um, like, uh, I don't know why, but the one that comes to mind is, um, is, uh, is Dinosaur King. And they also do it, it's the same voice actress, actually, for both characters. There's a, char there's a character in Dinosaur King and also, um, Jesse from, from, uh, Team Rocket in Pokemon. Like, they're, they're constantly making fun of her and calling her an old hag and all this other shit. Like, and, and to me, that's, that's not a joke. Like, they actually, they actually do think that. Lotus, yeah, they do to Lotus as well. It doesn't feel like it's a joke in those cases to me. It feels like it's, like, they actually are making fun of her on purpose, you know? So, I don't know, I don't know what that's all about. Okay, so... Uh, we decided yesterday that if there's no voice acting, I'm not reading it because, um, okay, I wish I'd read this one. Apparently during the experimental stage, they, they used to screw it forcefully into the eye socket. No, they couldn't just put it in normally. Okay, so, like, joke about eyeballs. Looks like a bulb is actually a prototype version of an eyeball. Okay. It's a Tanuki. Did you know this doll can talk, Ryuki? He's my childhood friend. What? What are you talking about? It's me, Mario. Nice to meet you. He talks? Boss's friend, Mario. It's a shelf. That RC goes pretty fast. Oh? How fast does it go? Do you know if I had a nickel for every single time I've seen the Super Mario movie now, I'd have 15 cents. Three million kilometers per second. The universe would collapse if that were true. Collapse? Go to heavy? I'm a sucker for anything shiny or black. What about cockroaches, boss? They're shiny and black. Okay, I'm reducing your salary. Ha 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 ha. Oh, wow, what a joke. Uh, I haven't been on a board in a while. I wish I could go. I think you've fallen your ass plenty already. I think you two would get along very well, Tama and Date. I would love to go snowboarding. I think I would hurt myself, though, but I would love to try snowboarding. You want to hear some juicy gossip? I heard they got transferred to Lemniscate. Okay... Uh-huh. Good for them. Hey, I'm your superior, you know. You should all at least pretend you're interested. In the timeline that we're in, did she get Somniums by uh, Saito? She didn't, did she? No, I don't think she did. Boss's desk. I heard that's Boss's grandfather. Don't fill his head with nonsense. 
That's not my grandfather. That's my grandfather's death mask. Not any less weird. Okay, I think we're done. Oh, it hasn't even been half a day. No new info for you yet. Jin's left half hasn't been found yet either. Why did his right half burst into flames like that? We're still looking into it. Yeah, that's really weird. The X we x-rayed. There was no bomb in the x-ray? How the hell did that work? But I was told they haven't recovered any mechanical or electrical pieces. Hmm. So it wasn't a time bomb. Do you think it could have been spontaneous combustion? Who knows? What? You went to a host club in Kabukicho after the investigation, didn't you? Who would do such a thing? You. I mean, you usually do that. I went straight home last night. I can't be out drinking every night. My kid would never let me hear the end of it. I'm sorry, your kid? Yeah, my little girl. At least, I think she's a little girl. I didn't spot any dangly bits, so unless she says otherwise. I had no idea you had a daughter, boss. Neither did I. I didn't know either. Why'd you keep that a secret all this time? It wasn't a secret. No one asked. <sighs> you never asked? Yeah. The entire country's been talking about it all day. Not just Japan, but the whole world. A body sliced in half suddenly appeared in the middle of a broadcast? And then there was that weird QR code, too. I'd be surprised if it didn't go viral. But how strange. There was a blackout before the corpse appeared, right? So why didn't the stream get cut off? Battery pack up. Okay, then. Tama and I will continue the investigation. Oh, wait. Before you go, there's one thing I want you to be careful about. Abyss is having issues with the communication network right now. Any data obtained by your AI ball can't be uploaded to the cloud. What? Yeah, I can't do any backups right now. I can only save data inside my body's storage. So we'll be in big trouble if you break. Yes, any data saved from today on will be lost. Understood. We'll be careful. Is that why she's getting so big right now? Because, you know, the data can't go anywhere else? So, where do you plan on going first? I thought we'd start by asking around for more info. I haven't been able to talk to the people who are at the scene much yet. Mizuki, Iris, Moma, Chenpei, and Andy's Komeiji, the host. Do you have their locations? Yes, I've obtained each of their locations through the GPS on their smartphones. Okay, I'm getting a bad feeling about about this this murder mystery so far. I feel like they're trying way too hard for it to be like this, like... How could this possibly solve? And then it's gonna turn out that yeah, fuck you. They it's not solved. There's there's no good answer. Like the body just appears. It's cut in half down to the molecular level, and then it's there's a blackout, but it doesn't affect the stream. But it somehow makes it so a body just appears in front of everyone, and no one heard anything, and it was there in a second, and then it's there, and and the sign is propped up, and there's a QR code, and then it just explodes. But there was no there was no bomb or anything like that. Like it's just it's and then the other half appears like years later oh by the way i know it sounded like i was having like like a like a stroke or something at the end of stream yesterday i i had my mouse and i clicked on chat so when i moved the mouse back onto the screen it didn't show up on on the screen at the end i was moving the mouse because she she moves her boob and i saw it at the end of the stream and i was like whoa, 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 whoa and i thought it'd be funny to end but instead there was no mouse moving so i just sounded like an idiot let's see if she does it again Ooh, you, you know what? Like, it's a little minor, but I was like, what the hell? Squish. I've obtained each of their locations through GPS on their smartphones. First, Mizuki is at a place called Matsushita Diner. Ota's place. Iris seems to be on the campus of Sekiba High. Makes sense. She's a student there, after all. Okay. Moma and Chinpei are at the Kumakura office. Right. 
Dragon and Lantern's place. And finally, Kameji. He seems to be on the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. Misaton? That department store in Shinjuku? This is a mask too, right? Do you want to ride along for the investigation, Mr. Date? <laughs> I'm not gonna work on my day off. I'm not that bored. But you'll hang out with Dojima. Bored enough to come here. Yeah. There are many types of boredom. This is different. Well, Ryuki, I'm counting on you. Right. Leave it to me. Tama, you take care of Ryuki, okay? Oh, you can see her. Okay. Oh, yeah. When when the eyeball is out, you can actually... Wait, so you're just cool with Tama just, like, nestled in there? Oh, okay. Always. There's a real cozy bar in Omiya I know about. I think you'll like it. All the bartenders are sexy women, aren't they? <gasps> How did you know? And why Omiya of all places? You don't know? Saitama is hot right now. It's warm at this time of year? Man, a watermelon. That's not what I meant. Saitama is a province located north of Tokyo with a population of around 7 million. Omiya is the capital of Saitama. Okay. Omiya has a stop for bullet trains and arenas where even Johnny's groups perform. Okay, there are tons of stores that they might like. Omiya is a really fashionable city. This message brought to you by the Omiya clan. All right, oh, map, not leaving. All right, where are we going? Should we just go in order? You know what, I want, I want to see the cube guy. I need to know if it's a mask or not. Oh wow, this is just the, the first game all over. That, how does that look worse than the first game? What the? F so why is Date back? It's not. It's Falco Chama, wearing a mask. My little boy, he's in elementary school. I'm not kidding. It's it's Falco wearing a mask. Although maybe later on we're gonna find out that it's actually not a mask and that's actually Date. Fuck you. You just never asked. One day I wake up, go to the bathroom mirror, and I have writing on my forehead. It must have been Shoma. He had been learning letters in school recently. Anyway, he writes Death Tub. <laughs> and I'm thinking, Death Tub? Is that what he meant? Is he trying to tell me something? Then Shoma saw my face and started busting out laughing. And I was thinking, what's so funny? That's when I realized. When you see Death Tub in the mirror, God of Energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max! Uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's, it's funny, yeah. Another story about Shoma. One day I got a call from school and a rather heavy set vice principal told me. Your Shoma called me a pig of all things. I apologized, then gave Shoma a talking to. Listen here, Shoma. Don't you ever call the vice principal that again. He said, Okay, I won't call the vice principal a pig anymore. But it's okay if I call a pig vice principal, right? I say, sure, why not? So then as the kid is leaving, he says, I'm sorry, can I go play with my friends now, vice principal? God of energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max! Oof. Again? Um, Round three. Are you finished? Well, you're the only one here. You're Mr. Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department, right? You came here to talk about what happened? Yes. Her laugh is terrifying. Terrifying about how hot it is, right? Right? Then let's go somewhere else to talk. You prefer someplace quieter, right? Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
Thank you, thank you to Henry Wyatt for gifting a sub to Pogo Stick Pilgrim. Interesting name. Thank Wait, you, the Ferris wheel. Jay Orky, for a tier three resub. Holy crap! Thank you very much, Jay Orky. Thank you very much. Hope you're enjoying Alsamian and Files 2. Thank you, playing it wrong for the resub as well. Thank you very much, playing it wrong. Thank you also to Sareth the Sly. How's it going, Sareth? Third most important, how to find the sickest memes. Yeah, you got you got to teach your kids how to navigate the uh, the memes of the internet for sure. Thank you, Sareth. Thank you, Momo Thix, Mo Moth X. One of those for the resub. Thank you very much. And thank you, Zero Vault, for the bit. Thank you very much, Zero Vault. Ferris wheel. Well, why not? Alone with a middle-aged man in an enclosed space? This is not what I had in mind. How did we even get in here, if you're surprised? There's something kind of shit about how media does that sometimes, where they just teleport characters to another scene, and it's even like the characters don't even know how they got there, and then the character's like, wait, what the fuck? Like, like, like motherfucker, you walked there. Like, you must have known the whole time. What would you do if you see someone crying? Laugh. Yeah, make- oh, make them- yeah, make- that's what I meant. Make them laugh. Yeah, make them laugh. That's an ideal answer, but I don't think it's realistic. Oh, oh, now that you're an adult, you're judging my answers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, the ants are like people. It's the other way around. Wait. The other way around doesn't sound right either. What do you mean? The people are like ants. No, that works. Yoniharu and the uh, AKA Andes Komiji sitting in front of me. All right. You know I'm a comedian now, but when I was in my early 20s, I was working as a regular company employee. I appeared on several quiz shows on the side and Ended up winning first place many times. It's even weirder up close. Komeiji was famous as a quiz king ever since he was a student. You should reset the Tamagotchi so you can get a new one to go. Oh, are you supposed to do that? Oh. He even had worshippers who lauded him as the quiz god. You've played this before, King Red? Okay, I'll, I'll reset it next question. Thinking back, that may have been the peak of my life. Adored wherever I went. Everyone buying me all sorts of things. Maybe I shouldn't have taken advantage of the situation like I did. I was so enamored by the glamorous celebrity life. I've always loved comedy, so I strived to become a comedian. And after that, well, it's just as you saw on that stage. Just remind me of so there for some reason. I wonder why there wasn't an audience. It was so funny. Bunny. Siggy. Fido! Oh, this? It's my one and only stage outfit. This sharp little bow tie is the highlight. My boy bought it for me last year. Bow ties are somewhat unusual. Traditional ties are more common. But you weren't wearing that tie last night, were you? Oh, uh, I wasn't. Uh-oh. I tend to take it off or put it on based on how I'm feeling. Do you come to the stage a lot? Yeah, the owner of the Misaton department store took a liking to me. He's given me the opportunity to appear several times now. I'm sorry, I have no idea what happened. I was just invited there and hosted the show as requested. Then that body suddenly appeared. You know what, being in the Ferris wheel is kind of kind of nice. It's like a little bit of movement in the background. It's nice. I like it. Did you know Jin, the victim? I've never met him. I do know he was hated for his extreme narcissism and ego. Yeah. If I had to guess, the motive was probably a grudge. Someone must Good have had song. a grudge against him and did that. Ah, does it? A little. A lot is more like it. Komeiji's blood alcohol level is 0.12%. The early stages of inebriation. Early, you say? I just couldn't get over what happened last night and ended up drinking too much. <laughs> That's still pretty high. 
<laughs> what's what's that bit from uh from uh trailer park boys with with the guy that is constantly keeping himself like he he, <laughs> he bought a breathalyzer he's an alcoholic he bought a breathalyzer and he's constantly taking the test throughout the whole entire day and he always keeps himself at around fucking like 0 0.08 or something <laughs> So he's never too drunk, but he's also never sober. <laughs> I think he was keeping himself lower than that. What the hell? I just couldn't get over how much happened last night. I ended up drinking too much. I wanted to forget about everything. I had to drink. I love Ferris wheels. That's also where uh, Kojima got got the uh, the line about the beach from. At one point, a character asks him, "He's like, is this is this you or the liquor talking?" And he looks at him and goes, "I am the liquor." <laughs> I like anything that continuously spins around. Actually, <laughs> and Kojima saw that. That's fire. I'm putting that in Death Stranding. Plane propeller, <laughs> washing machines, the beds at love hotels. There used to be rotating beds at love hotels a long time ago. Ooh. How do you know that? Yeah, how do you know that? It's like life, isn't it? With its ups and downs. We rotate around the same places over and over. All the beds at love hotels don't go up and down, though. Although, I guess they do, in a way. My boy is just like me, you know? I really like her, goddammit. Shoma? <laughs> you mentioned him on stage earlier. <laughs> yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel, too. He's almost in middle school, and he still comes here by himself all the time. He talks like he's all grown up, but he's still a kid inside. With your love of Ferris wheels, I'd say you're still a kid on the inside, too. <laughs> you got a point there. You're probably right. If only she were blonde. Hey, white hair is blonde. It's platinum. He's right in the middle of his rebellious stage, so he's been a handful. His mother hasn't been around for about three years now. Was it a divorce? Yeah. She got sick of me and left the house. Ah, I haven't told you yet, have I? The producer for that show knew about me from my Quiz King days. He thought I could tell all sorts of anecdotes and gave me an offer to host the show. You, do you all appreciate how, how I'm keeping him off center? So when there's a new uh, like uh, inverted square of information, it doesn't cover his face. You're not going to get that from any streamer. Ah, right. Sorry for calling you Team Popo back then. <laughs> it was in the script. Didn't really have a choice. By the way, uh, what? Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I couldn't help. Lamayo got him. What the? I wish you luck with the investigation. I'm rooting for you. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay, when is someone gonna die at the Ferris wheel? There is no way they made all this and they're not gonna use it for a Somnium. Actually, you know what? The background's kinda shit. Maybe they did. Do you think maybe these were assets that they made for the first game, but they couldn't fit it into the other theme park, so they just used it here? Zero vending machines here. Games. What stops? Okay, it seems like there's nothing else to do here. Okay, I can't believe that that's exactly how he looks like. Alright, should we get Iris out of the way? Where is... Where's uh, Mizuki? We'll save Mizuki for last, because I like Mizuki. Oh, Wait, right. You're the director of that quiz show, Chimpe? You got a problem with that? I do, yeah. No, but... I told you, he got out. He's making an honest living as a civilian these days. Ain't that right? That's right, boss. Stop calling me that. You're not a member of the gang anymore. Wish I was. It's Chinpei 
Why guy, a former member of the Kim Kimakuras. All right, why is it that sometimes when I click on them, the mouse moves by itself? See, see how it snapped back to look? What's that all about? Is that a resolution issue? Can I fix that? I don't even have a controller plugged in. I actually used to attend the vocational school to learn about film. I wanted to be a porn director. I used the connections I got there to reach out to a production company for online shows. And I was promoted to director right away. Supposedly, the last director ran away, so they really needed me to take his place. We didn't have enough people. The quiz show needed three teams of two to answer questions. We tried hard, but couldn't get together that last team. What is this top of a pumpkin thing here? I had no Stem. choice but to participate myself, so I invited the boss to go with me. And MoMA agreed to participate? Well, you know, it was a request from one of my precious underlings, after all. I convinced him by saying Tessa would be there, too. Then he agreed right away. I came to say thanks to the boss for yesterday. I was thinking of going to Akiba, and this place is on the way. Why Akiba? Well, um, I need to stop by a maid cafe. Maid cafe? Ooh. Yeah, it's called Sunfish Pocket. My girlfriend works there. Interesting. Sorry, but I haven't found anything that might be a lead. What about the rest of the staff? They'll probably tell you the same thing. The detectives from HQ have already questioned the rest of the staff. Their report is uploaded on the database. Zero clues. We can't access it though. There isn't any information that could help us at all. Someone says they need to eat lunch, but they're going to miss on plot if they do. Right now we're in like the, the information gathering phase. So this is usually the less exciting parts of, of, of the game if it's like the first one. But... Um, at the same time, like, some, some crazy shit can always go down in this. Owl 1 was full of that. That show was supposed to run for six hours straight from six to midnight. What? But it wasn't the same contestants the whole time. They were supposed to swap out every hour. Our appearance was slated for 9 p.m. I didn't know anything about the others. I the other detectives oh, already took care of that a while back. This is why I don't like having auto, because I forget it's on. I already turned in... I already turned in the list of contestants to the cops. Why don't you try hitting them up one by one? The other detectives already took care of that a while back. No clues there, either. There haven't been any reports of suspicious individuals. My girl is a baby on the way right now. So we decided to get married, but her parents wouldn't approve of it. Said they wouldn't let me have their daughter unless I got out of the business. I agonized over the decision. So much that I could only eat two slices of pizza instead of the usual three. Oh man, what a man has to serious. Do what a man has to do, right? So I made up my mind to talk to the boss about it. But before I could... Oh, I get it. Then I'll try asking him for you. And MoMA listened to Iris. Wh what? I didn't have any ulterior motives, so don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. This rap shit. What happened to it? Uh oh. There are a ton of videos of salmon laying eggs in there. I don't think that's a problem. We all have our own interests. Good memories with fish. A dragon with a gold ball, kind of like us, Ryuki. Hmm. You're not made of gold, though. There must be some gold parts in her, though, isn't there? It's a dragon with a golden ball. Lockers. Oh, is there gonna be something new on here? There's a piece of paper with some general principles written on it. It reads, no dating apps allowed. See, see what I mean? Maybe they should just be banned. They're everywhere. They're ubiquitous. 24th, how to go, vi how to go viral on TikTok or something, some sort of permit. Did you just hear something? No, nothing. Oh, just so you know, that thing's fake. It's not a real tiger. An ashtray in this day and age? 
How anachronistic is this place? It's like a Yakuza done in here. That's exactly what it is. Do re me so far. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it took me a second. <laughs> there are a lot of lanterns lined up here. Maybe Moma hung them up. Wait, who's hung? Who? Huh? Ooh. Moma? Moma's hung, huh? That's not what I said. For no reason at all, let's turn on x ray vision and look at that door. Chairman desk. Moma Kumakura. Oh, okay. Auto, auto even lets you have less time to read. Okay. I'm pissed about the case too. That co-appearance was like a dream come true. And the whole show was ruined. I'd love to get my hands on the bastard responsible. A dream come true? The boss and Tessa got to. Did it, did Shut it. Someone said click on the mouse. Anyway, That's what I've been doing, Chatter. I'd love to help you with your investigation and all, but unfortunately, I don't have any info that might be useful to you. Squeak, squeak! Squeak, squeak! Mousely? Didn't he just say so earlier? It is what it is. I don't know what to tell you. Did you see any suspicious people hanging around the studio, for example? Suspicious people? Hmm. I guess the only one who comes to mind is Kameji. Kameji? You mean... Kameji? Yeah, Andy's Kameji, the host. Supposedly, he has connection to the Yakuza. Supposedly? I'm not talking about our group, of course. It's just something I heard at a meeting with the street bosses. Word is, he's involved in some dangerous transactions. Though, that might not have anything to do with last night. Does it let you click on the lanterns again? I can try, sure. Kameji has connections with the Yakuza? Could it be true? Let's figure that out later. You need to gather intel for now. Got it. Then let's go somewhere else. No, it doesn't. Chat, what would happen if I plugged two mice into my computer? If I had two mouses and two separate USB ports, could I dual wield? Like, what, what happens? I'm surprised that I've never tried that before. They both work. Do I get two cursors? No? Why don't I get two cursors? Aw, oh, man, what the hell? They both control the same cursor, but they're in, diff they're in different parts on the desk. How does how does the computer know? It's gonna be jumping all over the place. Yeah, I didn't take his finger or anything. We're not doing any of that outdated cutting off your finger deal. After all, the Kumakuras are a gang with morals. Sounds like an oxymoron, like a vegan zombie. Vegan zombie. You can on Linux. What, after spending a decade of my life, like, installing the software after writing it myself? Yeah, maybe. Hold up, I'm compiling the compiler so I can get some shit done. Oh, God. Wait, weren't you a mermaid in the first game? At the at the the cafe, you Iris. Look familiar. How are you feeling? Still upset about last night? I'm okay. I recover pretty quick from these things. See, I'm bouncing right back. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy bunny. Ryuki, would you mind hitting her with a German suplex? I love her so Later. much. Thank By you, Tama. Way, you're. And that's Mame. She's one of my best friends. Nice to meet you. My name is Amame Doi. 
I'm a third year at Sekiba High, and I'm in the same dance club as Iris. I don't give a shit. I'm a super hyper cutie miracle beauty. <sighs> yes. Uh, hold on. In dance club, huh? Huh? You just pictured me in a leotard, didn't you? No. Nope. Uh, no. Help! It's a pervert. Somebody call the police. I am the police. Okay, you know what I'm in. Oh, come to think of it, pendulum swings question, quickly sometimes. Night, weren't you? Your name started with an R, I think. Yeah. Mr. Rero 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 Taro, was it? Yes, that's it's it. It's Ryuki. Yeah. I see. Mr. Ryuki Rero Taro. Tama is just best girl so far. It's a blackboard. Lockers are lined up. Student desks. Okay, seriously though, like... Brain tumor. When... How long has it been since the first game right now? A couple, couple months at most? Definitely not a year. Was the recovery really that fast? Has it not happened yet? Are they still in the process? I, I, I would cons I would have thought it would have taken a while for them to, to get that process going. Even with a short recovery process. I, I guess so. This is an all girls school. So obviously there are only female students. So it's not like I don't understand why you'd want to stroke that chair. But what? I do not stroke the chair. What? What would you do to reconstruct a dead town? Casino, red light district, factory secret. The casino. The casino. Okay. How do I? I reset down here. Can I answer the question first? Someone said there's an achievement. I thought that was best too, but the plan failed. Someone said there's an achievement if I keep using the same one. Don't reset. Don't reset. Factory for alloy production. Oh, you're in on that too, Top Lolly? Oh, damn. It's better to it's better to use your factories to make polymer and buy your alloy until you have enough of the uh, metallurgist genes. But you know, genes are a bit hard to come by. L eventually, though, you will be making some alloy with the with the factories. All right, so don't reset it. Don't reset it. Okay. But King Rat said to reset it, and King Rat has only steered me wrong once before. Oh, for fuck's sake. Is, is it this? Is it gonna be the pelvis bit again? Whoa. A mommy turned into a skeleton. It's an x ray. Anyway, the girl does have some nice femurs. I'd love to get inside those for a taste of the marrow. What is wrong with you? Uh, I can see a mommy skeleton. Alright, so no pelvis bit. Okay, that's good. You could say I'm a part-timer. It's just me and my mom back home, so money's tight. I don't have time to go to college or a specialty school. But mommy is so smart! She always has the best grades, even though she doesn't go to class much. I've been busy with my part-time job and dance practice. Where do you work? I work as a mermaid at a gaudy maid cafe called Sunfish Pocket. Yeah, there we go, yeah. Mermaids yep. are what they call the maids that work there. They wear these cute mermaid outfits as they serve the customers? Now I know because I used to work at Sunfish Pocket a long time ago. Mommy works there at night after dance practice. You don't like marrow, Joe? I don't even like marrow. If I have a steak, it's a, like a T-bone steak. It's T-bone steak. No, it's not T-bone steak. It's a ribeye. Ribeye have the little circle bone that has some marrow in it. Like, I don't I don't even eat the marrow with that. There's something kind of weird about that. I know some people think it's tasty. It probably is tasty. I just can't bring myself to do it. Don't tell anyone, but until about 11. Even when you were 17? Yes. Ever since I was 16. That's a violation of Article 61 of the Labor Standards Act. Though, it would be the employer who would be penalized. I lied to the manager about my age. So according to my profile, I'm 20 years old right now. That's a bit... 
I don't, I don't sorry. think it is a bit. Labor standards are uh, the so closest. You cannot employ anyone younger than 18 here. from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Okay. Okay. Was it planned or was it a retcon so they could reuse the character instead of having to make a new one for the school? I don't think there's anyone from our generation that doesn't know who he is. He's famous for having a sharp tongue. He used to write a bunch of completely lame articles and critiques online. He used to start up stupid internet drama crap on Twitter, too. My mommy has a pretty sharp tongue herself. His main job was being the CEO of Music Food. I guess that's like the president of the company? I think I read an article online that said he started the business when he was 22. <laughs> Twitter is so funny, I don't know why. is shrouded in mystery, and no one knows anything about his childhood, right? Oh, no. Yeah. He was a pretty mysterious figure. Music Food is a subscription music service. It mainly focuses on Japanese music, so it's not a widely known service worldwide, but they do have 10 million subscribers, so I'm sure they make a good profit. Probably not even profitable. I know about the incident. I was watching the live stream of that quiz show. Okay, are we done with you? Yeah, we're done, okay. Iris is sitting on a chair. Leering at an 18 year old. That's a bit creepy, don't you think? I was not leering. Like, not even a little bit. It's Iris. Like, like. Don't you know today is February 11th? National Foundation Day! Oh, right. Then why are you at school? Well, how do I put this? I just felt compelled. I can only wear this uniform and attend this school for about another month or so. So I invited Mommy, and we just kind of ended up here. Why? Iris and Amame are third years. They'll be graduating soon. I'm sorry, I don't know. Ooh, we just about love it. being schoolgirls. It did feel like some sort of paranormal phenomenon, though. Paranormal? Like I mentioned last night, maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed into some other dimension. And that's with the body in two. Speaking of which, there are rumors that people who watched that video and disappeared could have also been swallowed into another dimension. Did people disappear? Or is it just like, she's she just riffing? Uh, someone asked if the top lolly marble for one for the One Piece episode is legit. It absolutely is, and I hope it wins. That that would be the easiest thing for me to do ever. One episode and I'm done. Absolutely, it's legit. Didn't we cure her brain tumor? It turns out that she's just like this. Clickety clack, clickety clack. I boiled a potato and my socks in a sack. Mr. Ryuki, are you okay? Uh, a song Ryuki was just singing was German Soup Socks, I think. Oh, German Suplex. The agency I belong to, Lemniscate, received a request for me to appear. They wanted me and one more person to participate as a pair. But we couldn't find anyone with an opening in their schedule. And that's why Mizuki ended up going instead. Iris is just sitting on a chair. I have no further commentary. Now you're trying too hard. Well, what do you want me to say? Okay, but are we done? Without a hint of lecherous intent, I am looking at Iris sitting on a chair. Uh... Oh, there's new- that QR code video. A similar video went viral about half a year ago. The Bats 490 video. Supposedly people who saw it suddenly vanished. So, they say those who went missing were taken into another dimension. Yes, so did I. But you two haven't disappeared. That's because we haven't decoded it. There's a code hidden inside BATS 490. They say the code reveals a specific location. You have to go there to get taken into another dimension. And the people who decrypted the code all said the same thing before vanishing. Right before they vanished, they said, I think I might vanish. 
I've learned the secret of the world. Oh, okay. No one knows what that secret is. It's been like 12 hours, by the way. <sighs> Genny, I told you to wait for me at the gate, didn't I? Okay, is, is Genny gonna talk? Yeah, but I got here a bit early. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, what if he just never talked? What if he just like, uh, like? <laughs> His name is Gen Ishiagane. He's the owner of the fusion restaurant Brahman in Golden Yokocho. Though, I'm sure you already know that. Yeah, I've been there many times. But why is Gen here? Ah, huh, if it isn't Mr. Ryuki. It's Pro ZD. Can we play a game without Pro ZD in it, please? Just, just any game. No, no more Pro ZD. Are you here to investigate that case by any chance? Yes. I can kind of hear him a little bit. I was talking to Iris about it. I also watched the quiz show last night. Several people I know were on it. There, I couldn't hear him at all. Okay, are we done with everybody else? It's a chair. It's. Again, he, uh, oh, oh, okay, all right, cool. Let's try his cook. You're more than welcome to visit anytime. Genny's cooking is amazing. Everything he makes is so good. My tongue could fall right off. Personally, I think his place and Matsushita Diner are competing for the number one spot. Come on now, don't compare my restaurant with a place like that. The cooking there was superb when Takiro was still the man behind the chef's knife. But now, it's his son Ota running things. He doesn't know the first thing about cooking. These dishes are missing the most important condiment. Love. What is this fucking gimp mask you have on that's tied at the back? What, what, what is this face? This is terrifying. Can I x-ray her and then see him? No, it won't let me anymore. Oh, are you asking because I'm wearing this mask? Yeah! It was fine. The security for this school is practically non-existent. There are tons of places on the grounds without any fences or security cameras. So you didn't walk in through the front gate? I couldn't have dressed like this. A guard would have stopped me. Okay, it sounds like his his voice is coming from here. Oh, this, this is talking. I haven't seen... There's a reason he always wears the mask. He would scare people off. Scare people if he took it off. I didn't see him without the ma his mask himself. That's what he. That's what he said. Supposedly, it's something he was born with. He got called a monster when he was a kid. Oh, well, that's kind of sad. I drove here to pick up Amame and Iris. I need them to help out at work tonight. Oh, I'm sorry, Genny. Something came up. Uh, oh, I see. I'm free though. I can still help. That would be great. You two are close with Gen, huh? Yeah. We're just a big old happy threesome. That was a weird way to phrase it. Omame visited Brahman a lot, even back when it was in Yotsuya. Once it moved to Golden Yokocho, I took Iris there. You've been to Brahman too, Mr. Ryuki? Of course. I've been there several times. Mr. Date took me there. Mr. Date? So you must know Mr. Date too, Genny. I've known him for a long time. We're so close, we've seen each other's buttholes. Wow, what a small world. Is she really going to ignore the butt part? <laughs> the hell's that noise? Well, I think we got enough info here for now. Ryuki, wanna get going? Sounds good. Oh, it's outside, okay. Wait, did Oda get a girlfriend? Man, this sucks. Whom's the fuck? I already talked my jaw off yesterday. That was with the local detective, right? I haven't heard anything yet. Big sis, perhaps you should help them? Big sis? Big sis? Uh, that's just what I call Mizuki. Yeah. Ah, uh, and you're... My name is Kizuna. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi. You I'm from the Metropolitan like a Police Department. Version of the mom from Ryuki, last game. right? You were on that quiz show last night. 
Man, I need to clean my monitor. Holy shit. Uh, what are you doing? Haven't you heard? If you meow at a lucky cat statue, happiness will come your way. I see. See something you like? Oh, it is the boss's daughter, no. isn't it? Yeah, I I'll see. There's almost now. For a thousand yen. No, thank you. It's just the paper with the menu written on the on the wall. Just a customer, I guess. Why does he look familiar? Was he in the in the scene before? A lot of dates on that calendar. Why not go on a date with me? No thanks. More for me. Salt, pepper, spices, and it says Ota's black sauce. Wow. It's stuffed so tight. Why did you say it like that? Chef's choice salad. Least horny game I of our guess played. It's up to luck. You want me to smack your bucket, Ryuki? No. Kizzy, if you wanted to change the light bulbs or something, you can stack the cases there and stand on top of them. No, thank you. I have absolutely no desire to do so. <laughs> Holy shit. A lot of these aren't even funny. They're just so horny. Like, this is just... Not even trying. It's just... La, la Mayo, we're just horny. Like, holy shit. Mr. Ryuki, there's a video of Tessa playing Mulku. Wanna watch? Maybe later. No. Okay. Look, Ryuki, a jellyfish. It's a stool. The first game was like that too. Was it the first? I remember the first game being more funny or funnier more often than it was just horny for no reason. Maybe I'm misremembering. It was funnier because it was Date. Yeah, maybe. Maybe Date uh, pulls it off better. All right, who do we want to talk to first? Let's talk to you. Kazuna Chida. I am indeed. How did you know? Your uniform? Don't tell me you're a uniform buff, Ryuki. I didn't take you for a pervert. Can we just, just, just a <sighs> single... Good friends with Iris and Mame, too. One conversation, oh, you please. you don't know about Mame, do you? Do you mean a Mame Doi? Yeah. Then I do know her. I met her at Sekiba High earlier. Iris and Mame belong to the same dance club as I. It was through them that I was introduced to Big Sis. Yes, I most certainly do. However, I am not very good at it. That's not true. You've even won a dancing competition before. That was nothing more than a fluke. Iris is a far better dancer. I was watching that quiz show live as well. Then, goodness, I couldn't believe it. That corpse suddenly appeared on the screen. I couldn't sleep last night from the shock of it all. I was worried about Big Sis and Iris as well. Yeah, you called me a bunch, I remember. Mm -hmm. You witnessed the corpse with your own eyes, did you not? Are you certain you're... okay? I'm totally fine. Your mental fortitude is admirable. All right. I've been through a lot is all. This story is not going to go well for you. Hmm. This is a bit difficult to explain. I just sensed a certain elegance to Mizuki that was characteristic of an older sister. It... is that a compliment? Tama, how old is Kizuna? 18, same as Iris. They're in their third year, so they're graduating soon. In other words, Mizuki is a whole six years younger than Kizuna. You know what? It kind of tracks. Mizuki really does have her shit together. Sorry, but I don't know anything. I just went on the show like Iris asked, and then a body showed up out of nowhere. I've heard about Jin Furoe, 
but it's not like I knew him personally. Sorry, I can't really help. Fruway. Huh. And? I mean, Mr. Date is like your foster father, so I thought I'd let you know just in case. Foster father? I'm the one taking care of him. I'm paying the rent and utility bills too. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Oh, I know of Mr. Date as well. He is quite close with Iris, so I have the honor of being on friendly terms with him as well. <laughs> I already heard the details from Iris, but confirming the consistency of testimony is part of my Iris job. Iris had an offer to appear on the show, so she was asked to bring another talent from Lemniscate, but no one could make it, so I decided to go instead. As the president of Lemniscate, I couldn't just turn it down. Oh, yeah, president? okay. Aren't you 12? It's a long story. I ended up taking over the company after daddy. Yeah, you should be paying then. Yeah, I, I'm with Date here. Yeah, all right, cool. I, I, feel like, I feel like the game just put like hit the reset button on a bunch of character development that happened in the first game. Like, what, what's going on? Today is February 11th, National Foundation Day. Oh yeah, it is. So why are you here? Why else? to eat some of Ota's cooking. I brought my friend Kizzy with me. And I appreciate your business. Oh, we're paying? Where's Kizzy? I don't see her. Is this Kizzy in the room with us right now? I can't believe we have to deal with fucking Ota again. I love you, Mom. Th that came out of nowhere. Of course I have one. You met her yesterday, right? I don't Tessa, need to hide it. A girl named Iris Sagan. Ota, do you want me to rip your tongue out? <laughs> oh, well, as long as we're on the subject. Are you going out with anyone, Kizzy? Oh, me? Such relations with gentlemen are completely foreign to me. Are you into baby face guys that know how to cook? Ugh, no shame. Oh, my type is so stereotypical that i am embarrassed to admit it someone like prince charming a prince i yearn to be a princess i hope my prince charming will appear before me with a glass slipper someday that's my dream glass slipper whoa, 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 whoa. why do you have a ding and rompa tattoo what the fuck ota who is that well he's a customer he comes by a lot um, well, in any case, I have a great affinity for shoes. My admiration of Princess Cinderella partially comes from that, I'm sure. Glass slippers. Isn't that so magical? No. How lovely it would be to dance in them. Not at all. Wouldn't it be hard to dance yeah. in glass slippers? <laughs> that is true. And if they break, you're going to cut your foot? <laughs> like, like, no. What pet do you want in your pond? Nishiki Koi, Merman, Kappa, Japanese Salamet. Oh, Kappa for sure. Kappa. If anyone has a, if anyone has a one in a pond, I'd like to see it. Noe, I'm not close to done asking the questions. -y. I'm curious about everyone else's answer, so I will go on a journey with the other to the other world liney. I'll be going. Soe went off on a journey after becoming a respectable adult. Depending on how you raise it, you might be able to meet new eyeballies. You can view eyeballies that you raised in the picture book. Can you answer more questions so I can become an adulty? What would you do if you got questioned by the police? Accept, run, complain, complain. Police have their reasons, E. You should be accepting, E. Kate, Kate tattled on one one of the dogs today, so I called her a cop, and then she start she tried to say back to me, "No, no, you the cop," but she didn't say it properly. So my daughter, a four years old, today, called me a cock. Man, that was crazy. I said it before, but I was watching that stream live. I heard Tessa and Mizuki were gonna be on that show, right? Then owned, yeah, pretty owned, yeah. Nowhere, man, I couldn't believe what I saw. No, Speaking you the cock. Crazy, that ViewCube video. You saw it. How'd you handle it? No, I laughed. not the whole thing. 
too scary. Too scary. I saw the one before, though. The one before? You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago. A video similar to that one went viral. Everyone was talking about it online. Ah, I know of that one as well. The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? <laughs> yep. There was some kind of code hidden in it, too. According to the rumors, whoever deciphers it will learn the secret of the world. Secret of the world? Did a grade schooler come up with that or something? It was Oda. Bats 490, secret of the world. Iris and Amame mentioned the same thing. Bats for lashes? Bats for 90. Bats for 90. Sounds like, like you're saying something when you say it. Not saying just a word in numbers. Bats for 90. I mean, it's just the four. Your name. Are you Mr. Ota Matsushita? Oh, you heard of me? Did you talk to Date or something? Yeah, something like that. He's linked to the New Psych Ops Serial Killings. That's how I know his name and age. Ota is 24. One year older than you, Ryuki. No. Yeah, that's why I'm being polite. Ooh. Nah. Ota handles the cooking, serving, and accounting all by himself. <laughs> that's right. Tama, are there any legal issues with this? Hundreds. Not at all. His mother, Mayumi Matsushita, holds the proper certification for food hygiene. Mr. Matsushita, can I ask where your mother is? Probably in the living room back there. I guess she's sitting at the Kotatsu watching TV or something. Matsushita Diner was closed for a long time. It recently reopened. They got decent customer traffic and make a good, a pretty good amount of money. Wait, what do you mean? How? Isn't the place like... With, with the with the power plant and shit, wasn't this place like declared like a no travel zone? Did that open up? Was that resolved? It got better? Oh, okay. The video starts with a bunch of bats flying around. Guess that's where the bats part comes from. I don't know what the 490 means though. Were you able to decode it? No way. I had no idea what it meant. Well, it's not like solving it would have been a big deal. I'll bet that secret of the world stuff is bogus anyway. Don't ruin the fantasy, Mizuki. I'm just telling it like it is. It's just an ARG. It's a game for kids. ARG means alternate reality game. I hate ARGs. The game master releases mysterious information to the public. Waste of time. Internet, leaflets, posters, stuff like that. Players decode the information to discover a location or objective that moves the game forward. Simply put, an ARG is a fusion of games and real life. You made an ARG, and that's how I know that it's a waste of time. Hey, Kizzy, Look what we're doing as a result of it. Oh, we didn't talk to him. Where did this come from? I want to see too. Don't you want to see too, Ryuki? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I've got to see this. Then I'll play some music. Just a sec. Wait, um, I have not agreed to anything. Do -do 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 a punch of the four. Why is my stomach growling? I had some breakfast. Hey, Mickey. Is she meant to be singing this, or is it part of the music? She has a heart backpack? I actually kind of like that. It looks cool. say wow! 
Yay! Someone in chat said Nolan audio mixing. I agree. Yeah, it's it was like I was watching Tenet again. I know your name. You're Kizuna, aren't you? Dang, I heard you introducing Rompa. yourself earlier. My name's Lian. Lian Twining. Lian. I'm 22 years old. My father's American and my mother's Japanese. 20. So, Kizuna, I want you to marry me. Did you kill his father? Like, what What the hell was that? Leah. Alright, that's all the time we have for. It's time for break. Be right back in five minutes. Before I go, thank you to Fitzemi, or Fitzemi for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Fitzemi. Thank you, Dingle Danger, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you also to Murmurs M for the resub. And thank you, Wima. Wimalage? Wimalage? We Malage. One of those, hopefully, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. How's your cringe meter so far? Oh, it, that broke a long time ago. Be right back.
Okay, sorry about that. There were a couple of fires I had to put out. Apparently Yoshi and the cat had a fight. But they're both okay. Who won? From the sounds of it, it sounded it sound like the, uh, the cat won. Towers evolve on fire. Uh, I'm actually over over double time right now. I'm I've, I've over eight hours of bank double time because I haven't had time to, to look at it today. And let me tell you, I'm very upset about that. Very very upset about that. Hello, I'm new here, but it doesn't say first time chatter next to your name. Interesting. Interesting. Things just aren't adding up. Evolve question: Is there any races with interesting gameplay elements I should go for? Um, there are some races that have different buildings and some different styles of play, but for the most part, it's about either adding on some extra bullshit in exchange for some some sort of bonus, or removing some sort of um, or uh, removing a resource uh, at the cost of something else, uh, which is why ants are so powerful. Ants are so powerful because they remove so much at, at the cost of not really all that much. It makes aluminum kind of stupid, but, um, you can account for that later on. But no, there's not that huge of a difference between, um, between the races in Evolve. Uh, it is important that they all have their different traits though, but you'll, you'll find that out if you play for long enough. It might take you a while to, to, to realize why. Uh, thank you to a singular VOD enjoyer for a tier three resub. Thank you, a singular VOD enjoyer. T3, damn. Uh, for three months, too. Three and three. Thank you so much. And thank you, Henry Wyatt, for gifting a sub to Danger Zone. Danger Zone? That's a JoJo reference, isn't it? JoJo referencing Archer, I'm pretty sure. All right, so who's this? Leon. All right. Kazuna Cheetah. Oh, it's like a cheetah and a lion. Oh. He looks completely out of it. This guy looks familiar, like I've seen him in another game. No, I'm not okay. My heart feels like a jackhammer. Like it's gonna burst out of my chest any second. Phoenix, right? Yeah, maybe it's from one of those games. Then actually, I got fired yesterday. I didn't feel like doing anything after I woke up this morning. I came here so I could drink my problems away. But you were drinking non-alcoholic beer. Dude, that's an omelet with ketchup. No, say no. Say no. Say no. Say no. Ooh. Say no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. No, no, don't do it. Absolutely not. No. No. I can still get drunk off of them, okay? Can what you? What job did you get fired from? I was a bank clerk. Really? What were you really? I don't like talking about it, but I was a janitor. I think that is a noble job. You're so right! But unfortunately, my job <laughs> was taken from me. I have zero motivation to do anything now. Will you marry hard me? Hard work just seems so pointless. I dislike people who don't work hard. Oh, it's Danger Zone. That's what it is. Okay, thank you. Thank you, uh, Henry Wyatt. Thank you. Oh, this you just changed his entire personality with this one line. All right. I'm hitting up the employment office tomorrow. This guy has a rather one-track mind. He doesn't seem all that bad, though. Of course this isn't a joke. Kizuna's dance purified my heart. There is so much darkness building inside me. But she cleared it all away. It felt like I went straight to heaven. This guy is Oda 2.0? Yeah, but he's hot, so this time it works. No call to human resources with Lian. I've always wanted to be a pilot since I was little. It was my dream to fly through the sky. Kizuna made that dream come true for me. Seeing her dance, it was like my soul pierced the heavens and flew into the stars. So, I've decided. I'm gonna marry her! Won't you marry me, Kizuna? No, thank you. Oh, no! I'll pretend I didn't hear that. No, thank you. I'll pretend I didn't hear that either. No, thank you. 
Anyway, I won't give up. You'll come around eventually, Kizuna. She will. My motto is, if at first you don't succeed, try and fail again! I think you mean try, try again. Pretty base motto. Now, we haven't obtained much useful information. There's no point in staying here for too long. Yeah, let's go somewhere else. What was the other game we had that we had to babysit this all the time? How many legs do you like? Um, three. Same amount that I have. I don't like erotic talk. <laughs> Called out. <laughs> Called out. Oh man. Dangerapa 2, was it? I thought it was more recent than that. All right, we done? Abyss HQ, okay. We, we got no information whatsoever, apart from there was another YouTube video before. Who's driving this car? You're going Hypnospace. back to Abyss? Oh, it was Hypnospace. Yeah. I want to reorganize the information I have so far. Then why don't you just do it in this limousine? Oh, right. I guess I could. Is she driving? Lady. There's a woman sitting on the seat. A woman. Oh, is this the first time some people might have seen her? Wait, what is this perspective? Is the eye moving on its own in the socket? Scream like a little girl. Shut up! Stop shouting! But... You surprised me. I thought that the ghost of an SM pervert with a police uniform fetish who died in a tanning booth had come to haunt me. <laughs> Haven't I showed you this body many times over the past six months? <laughs> what an amazing line! I thought that the ghost of an SM pervert with a police uniform fetish who died in a tanning booth had come to haunt me. <laughs> what an amazing line! I'm still not used to it. Your body is semi transparent, and I can only see you in the left side of my vision. So, why did you come out? I thought it would be easier to talk to you this way. Easier for who? Honestly, it reeks of bad taste. Makes me want to puke just looking at it. Keep talking like that, and I'll throw you out the window. Then you'd be a goner too. I'm the one driving this car, you know. Uh -oh. Why don't you take the leap and buy a different car? Right now, I'm using the car camera to steer the car remotely. I, of course, control the gas and brakes. I send signals electronically. It's technically a self-driving car. So you're driving the car while also talking to me and also giving us trivia. Holy crap. What else can you do at the same time? I can't. This car is all I have of my parents. Your parents passed away, didn't they? Yeah, in an airplane crash when I was young. Hmm. From then on, I was living with my younger brother. But six years ago, he also. Six years ago. Everything six years ago. Always six years ago. Because six is upside down nine. Isn't that what you're investigating for? Yeah, but remember what Mr. Date and Iris said. For some, some reason, reason, just the right half. I could travel, travel through time and space. space. Maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed into some other dimension. And that's with the body in two. You know what? Iris can't be wrong two games in a row. I, I think she has a point. Don't tell me you believe that. I do, yep. No, just for some reason it's stuck in my head. There isn't much useful information to sort out in the first place. If I had to say one thing, it would be the view cube video in that QR code link. By the way, I'm going to cut down on the word salad and call it QR video from now on. The teeny bit of information we got from that QR video is pretty much all we have. Word salad. You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago. 
A video similar to that one went viral. But more words Everyone's always better. Talking about it online. The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? There's a code hidden inside Bats 490. They say the code reveals a specific location. Yeah, we just Everyone did who visits that place is said to have gone missing. They all left behind the same message. I've learned the secret of the world. Hey, Tama. Is Bats 490 still up anywhere on the what, internet? What's Bats 490 backwards? 094 stab. 09 for stab. What could what could 094 be? No, I'm not getting it. I looked it up. Here it is. Vampire survivors? What is this art style again? Is it, is it... It's not vaporware. What is it called? It has a name. Paradise Killer. Yeah, like Paradise Killer has a, has a specific kind of um, name, the art style. Va vaporwave. There we go. Ooh, crap. I just tried to pick up my cup and it was slippery. I almost dropped it. I almost had to clean my keyboard again. Hmm. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean. They say there's a hidden message inside, but I can't even tell where we're supposed to look. I was only half watching it, to be honest, so I don't even know either. I was trying to drink my tea. Same as the QR video. It was originally uploaded to ViewCube, then it spread from there. The account holder is unknown. In any case, Bats 490 is the only lead we have right now. If we can figure it out, Maybe it'll lead to the QR video. Ryuki, you have a call. It's from Mizuki. Mizuki? I'm connecting her. Mizuki? Under the... Oh, Ryuki? I got your number from Boss. What is it? I remembered something about Bats 490. I thought maybe it could lead to a clue. What did you remember? Someone in my class at school actually figured it out. He decoded the hidden message in Bats 490. And then he disappeared. He did? His name is Shoma Enda. Uh-oh. He might know something, so I would go find him. That's anyway, the comedian's son. Shoma? Isn't that... Andy's Komeji's. Andy's. Okay. Enda residence. Oh, he's dead. Shoma, you know what happened last night, right? He's the not QR dead. code displayed on that sign. There was a link in it leading to a video. We're calling it the QR video. I wanted to talk to you about it. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Getting some big shoe vibes. It's Ada Rooster. Ada Rooster? It's a character. Add a rooster. Oh, it's over the range. It's old. Looks like a memento for the Quiz King. A picture of Ame no Uzume, a goddess from Japanese mythology. Supposedly, she is the goddess of entertainment and laughter. <laughs> you laugh more often than you breathe. Whoa, don't throw shade at me. I just like to laugh. Is this a poem written by Kameji? It says, It's okay to fall off the horse. You're a saddle after all. <laughs> Wait, this was supposed to be touching? 
It's a family altar. What is that on top? Yeah, what is that? Looks like earthenware. Maybe it's some sort of device? It's a CRT TV. But do you think you can pick up digital broadcasts? It could, with a dedicated tuner. That's what that is. It's a thick antenna. I kind of miss CRT, CRT TVs. Greenery and a garden can be seen out the window. There's a squeaky toy hammer. If you are young enough that you've never had to, to deal with a CRT TV, um, something that might surprise you, or like maybe you've only ever seen these ones, but they used to be a lot, lot bigger than that. Those motherfuckers were heavy. So heavy. Okosatsu, it's very warm. You had to be, like, swole as hell if you wanted to break into someone's house and steal their TV. Like, holy shit, those motherfuckers were heavy. You could kill someone dropping it on them. Answer for the, qui for the quiz. Answer button for the quiz, sorry. I'm trying to reach out at the same time. Machine part. It's Shoma. He's working on something in silence. Uh, about your father. Just to confirm, your father is Andy's Komeji, and his real name is Yoneharu Enda. Is that right? Hmm. Maybe he should take his headphones off. I heard you went to the same elementary school as Mizuki. She's actually the one who told me about you. What are you making? Don't tell me it's a bomb. Yeah, it's a bomb. I like putting them in half bodies that I find, and then I put them in my teleporter. You know about the video called Bats 490, right? I have a feeling it's related to the QR video somehow. You solved the code in Bats 490, didn't you? And it showed you a certain location. Am I right? He's completely ignoring you. Maybe because he's wearing headphones. No, that's not it. There's no sound coming from them. How did we get in here? The chastity belt on his heart must be locked tightly. What kind of metaphor is that? Oh. You won't be able to see his uvula unless you open that lock. Um, <laughs> so what you mean is... He probably won't speak unless you can find the key to his heart, I'm guessing. There might be a key somewhere in this room. Let's find it. A key to open the lock on his heart. The fuck, Tama? What the fuck? That robot is so cool! Mr. Kameji used to be amazing. Oh, but he still is, of course. Ding! Yes, Shoma. What is your answer? Hmm. Do you want to watch TV together? Shoma, want to play Lucky Laugh together? God, please help. You can help yourself. Why don't you hit your own head with the hammer toy? Wow, what a jolly guy he is. I'm going to tell him everything I know now. I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, if this was 12 minutes, it would work. Why don't you smack Shoma on the head with the folding fan? I don't think he'd ever speak to me. Why don't you try going under the kotatsu? He'd probably run away. You'd better talk, or I'll smack your butt with this broom. <laughs> oh, you just laughed a little, didn't you? What is that? It looks like a robot. I tried searching, but it looks like it's not commercially available. A homemade robot, huh? Hey, Shoma, would you mind showing me the robot in your closet? Thank you to uh, Para Alto for the hype chat. With Stare, 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 Scorn. Thank you, Nebula LP. Or is it IP? I'm not sure if that's a capital I or an L. Nebula Lip or Ip for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Nebula. Thank you very much. Huh? How do you know about that? Oh, well, uh... Tell him you heard it from Komeji. Right. I heard about it from Mr. Komeji. From my dad? 
That's right. Okay then. Just for a bit, okay? Okay. Uh, oh, where are we going, game? You made that? Yeah. I call it Robata. All by yourself? Uh huh. There's a junk shop in Akiba. I got all the parts there. This robot only has one tire. It uses a gyro to keep its balance. Fine tuning it is really hard. Compliment, compliment strongly, compliment like crazy. Hmm. Compliment strongly. That's really amazing. I can't believe a grade schooler made a robot all by himself. A genius like you must be one in a hundred million. No, no. I'm not that special. What was the crazy one? Looks like the lock has opened. Looks like it. Put them on so I can concentrate better. But you're not listening to music, are you? I only turn on the noise canceling. Turn on the noise canceling? Are, are you supposed to turn on noise canceling? Isn't that just... Oh, oh, can they? Really? Oh. I thought the noise canceling was just like... The headphones are so tight around your ears that they just cancel out all the noise. What, what does turning on the noise canceling? What's what's what does that do? Does it just make some 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 white noise or something? Okay, so old style noise canceling headphones were just like really tight isolating headphones that block out noise from coming to your ears because they would be have a lot of cushion, right? This is this is this is new tech. Okay. She's just a classmate. We're not friends or anything. I don't talk to her much. Do you wish you could talk to her more? No, of course not. Even though she's cute? That Ugo? She's not cute at all. The temperature is rising. That was clearly a lie. Don't tell me you've you've owned noise canceling uh, headphones without turning them on. I think I just had iso noise isolating headphones. I don't think these ones have. Um, the one I'm wearing right now, I don't think can cancel noise. And the other one I have is open ear. It doesn't have any of that functionality whatsoever. Yeah, I can tell. This robot sound is driving me crazy. You just put on your active noise canceling and it'll block it out. One of the parts for Robota. The robot running around. I want to upgrade it. I'm trying to make it so it can carry my weight. Yeah. Andy's Komeji is my dad. I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about him. Why not? Well, because... He's a cube. Why does it matter? Now, I think it's about time we get back to why I'm here. I solved it. Hmm? The Bats 490 code. I solved it. Um, how? I have to go soon, so I'll tell you the short version. That's fine. Please just tell me. Thank God. The video's hidden message pointed to a certain location, right? Yeah. And where is that? Your ass. Horidori Lab. The Horidori Institute of Genetics. Oh, no. Oh, we're just here. Oh, okay. Here we go. 
I heard about it last night on the news. Why? Truly unprecedented. What a mysterious case. Haru's dad? I am Chikara Horidori, the director of this research institute. He hasn't retired yet. His 60th birthday was last year. Robotic arm. Ryuki, would you drink that fluid inside the test tube? Absolutely not. 100 bucks I would, yeah. Why not? You might develop superpowers. But what if I turned into a giant green muscular freak? That would be awesome. Huh, it actually is moving one back and forth. It's not just like the animating into like a, a static model. That's neat. What direction do you like? Up, left, right, down. Uh, up, always up. I don't really carry. Why'd you ask then? Excuse me, what is that statue? Ah, that's the symbol of our research philosophy here. It would take a while to explain, so perhaps another time. There's a mysterious statue inside the research institute for some reason. Can I buy it? Why are they wearing protective garb and we're not? Looks like a grotesque monster might be trapped inside. I actually like grotesque things. Yeah, I know. Oh, we have a chance. Oh, man. There's a monitor embedded in the pillar. Okay, I think that's everything to look around. This room's interesting. It's Chikir Chikara, the director of the Research Institute. About the Institute. We mainly conduct research on gene therapy through genome editing here. Are you familiar with genome editing? Site-specific nucleases. An artificial restriction enzyme known as CRISPR-Cas9 is commonplace yeah. these mm -hmm. days. Genome editing is a technique that uses this enzyme to splice, replace, and bind any base sequence of DNA. In other words, it's technology that rewrites DNA. I can't believe CRISPR is the real name for something that exists that does that. CRISPR sounds like something that a sci-fi writer would use to describe a process that goes completely wrong and destroys all of humanity in some weird genetic mutation that goes out of control. Oh no, it was the CRISPR. I can't believe it's actually like this. The CRISPR is a real thing. Why would they call it CRISPR? Oh no, the CRISPR! It's coming! Everything was going so well until the CRISPR mutated. Oh no, the Crispies are here. Indeed. Last year, we developed a revolutionary genome editing method we call PURS. That's just getting worse! Genetic diseases that were previously too difficult to treat. For example, severe congenital heart diseases are now curable. But that's not all. In theory, using PURGE, even immortality is achievable. Even if you're cut in half. Oh, but I don't mean your body will be invincible. Death can still occur via trauma, ingesting poison, viral infections, this sort of thing. However, it can make death due to old age a thing of the past. Can Purge really do that? Indeed. The body's deterioration due to aging can be prevented by rewriting all of its DNA, maintaining a permanent state of youth. However, this has not yet been proven. It's still in its experimental stage. Mm -hmm. But it won't be long until our hypothesis is substantiated. The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for for thousands of years. It will soon become a reality. What do you think? Isn't that wonderful? Parts of your body will continue to grow and age, though. Like, uh, for instance, maybe your forehead. 
Immortality is just always 50 years away. Just always 50 years away. Ah, it was mentioned on the news. But the video itself wasn't broadcasted, so I haven't seen it. Then you don't know about Bats 490. What is that? It's a video that's very similar to the QR video. I've never heard of it. I actually came here to ask you about it specifically. There's a hidden code in the video, and I've heard it points to this research institute. I have no idea what you're talking about. Perhaps someone just made it up. You think someone would just do that? Jun's estimated time of death. I was sleeping in my bed at home. They say seniors are early to rise, but uh, that's not true at all in my case. <laughs> Perhaps that means I'm still young. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyone who you've been taking the story? serum, Doc? Don't tell me I'm a suspect. I'm just doing my job. <sighs> I've always wanted to say that. Good for you. Your dream came true. I live alone now. Unfortunately, there's no one with me at home. Chikara got divorced six years ago. Six? Everything's always six children, years ago. He has one daughter. She's 32 years old. His daughter and ex-wife are currently living in Italy. Hmm. In other words, there's no one who can corroborate Chikara's alibi. Hmm. That's right. Hmm. Who's 32? Hmm. I know of him, but I haven't met him in person. I've only read some articles about him online. He's the CEO of a music distribution company. I'm the director of a genetics research institute. We have nothing in common. Ryuki, don't you think something is off about Jikara? You think so? His shoes, yeah. You really are dense. You're dense enough to be the target audience for mobile game ads. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy fuck! Mobile games can be fun. Most of the time, though, they take you to a page to try to force you to download a different game. It's kind of like advertising fraud. Huh. His temperature is abnormally high, isn't it? Maybe he has the flu. It means he's lying. Don't make me pluck out your eyebrows from the inside. Do you think he's upset about something? Probably. Thomas' voice actress is killing it, huh? Something. Wink sink. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Wink sink. What the fuck is wink sink? Wink sink is a simplified version of sinking. You can analyze the brain waves of the sink subject and temporarily look into their dream. But they're awake. Select Shikara with the cursor, choose Wink Sync icon and view a simplified version of his dream. Alright, let's just wink at him. Wink. Wink. Huh, what's he doing? <sighs> this guy. <laughs> wink Sync is a simplified version of Sinking, but you're still taking a look inside their dreams. The dreams are made There's only six seconds in Wink Sinking! So there shouldn't be anything in there that he doesn't know about. You're saying... Chikara knows about Bats 490. He was lying to us earlier. Mr. Chikara, can you accompany me to the station? Wink Sink is a simpler version of sinking. From the eyeball me, a strong magnetic wave is shot out to the sink subject. This temporarily numbs the subject's brain and puts their brain into a faux sleep state and induces a dream. What? By analyzing the faint brain waves emitted during this, we can see parts of the dream. It's not a clear image by any means. To investigate more thoroughly, a regular sink needs to be performed. A wink sink can only be performed once a day. What? Because of the high amount of power required, I would need to recharge before performing it again. Personally, I don't like it because of the power consumption. Oh no, the, the killer has has the gun pointed at her head. Quick, use the wink sink in order to make them into a faux sleep state so they have six seconds to get away. I'm sorry, but I'm still charging from the last wink sink that we used on that hot girl at the fucking maid cafe to see what she was dreaming about. God damn it, why did we do that? Oh no, also the, the data storage is offline so I can't upload and try get. What? Why? I'd like to speak to you in more detail. You do have the right to decline, of course. Very well. Very I'll well. Go with you. Why 
Why don't we just recharge the power? Six seconds, six minutes, six years. Oh, damn! That's true! And it's been six months between the first game. Oh, Peter's so excited. He gets to do a Somnium. Gonna sleep well tonight. Thank you, Smokerin, for gifting out a sub. Thank you, Smokerin. A blind fire uh, gift sub. Um, excuse me. Could you go buy some soy sauce for me? I thought I just heard something. Ah, uh, you mean the cleaning lady. Oh, it's just the cleaning lady. She's been dead. Wait, what? A Tengu nose in it. What's a Tengu nose? This boss real name is Shizu. Okay, yeah. Who knows? He went off somewhere right after you left. He's probably playing the nipple guessing game at some cabaret club in Nakamaguro right about now. He's on vacation, so I'm sure he's taking a load off while he can. No, he's taking a load off, all right. <laughs> the nipple game is a game in which a man asks a woman to guess where their nipples, the which where their nipple is while their shirt is on. Even if it's a guy asking a girl to do it, it's kind of problematic. <laughs> I gave Chikara the usual medicine to put him to sleep. Are you sure that's okay? What do you mean? I mean, Sequel maybe they're the another game. The nipple issues. game. The nipple oh, game. The nipple, the, 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 the nipple game. The higher ups will take care of it for me. I didn't hear a word she just said. Because you just mentioned issues. Okay, what do you mean? I mean, there's some legality issues. Don't worry about that. The higher ups will take care. Oh yeah, yeah. We just, we just, we're just riffing down here. Yeah. No oversight. There hasn't been any progress yet. The people over at HQ are totally incompetent. They must have had stuff with fermented beans or something. Hmm? Why do you ask? I'm the engineer of Abyss. Of course I'm always here. Yeah, but... I've been wondering about something. In November of last year... You were dishonorably discharged for reasons related to the new Cyclops serial killings, weren't you? You leaked internal police information, not to mention you aided a criminal in his escape. I made some arrangements behind the scenes. Pewter is a crucial part of Abyss. I couldn't let them lock him up. You can do that? Normally, no. But in this case... Boss has dirt on members of the executive, judicial, and legislative branches of the government. I am truly grateful to you, boss. No need to thank me. You just need to be a good little workhorse. Oh, and it'd be great if you could introduce me to some good-looking studs while you're at it. I know about... Mm, a dozen. I'm counting on you. Ooh. This is kind of scary. Uh, you get used to it. No, it's pretty scary. How are we just here? Like, what the, what the fuck? Who, who is Pewter in a relationship with again in the, in the first game? Is he still around? Or was he a victim? Oh, it was Renju! Yeah, 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 Renju, yeah, okay. Ah, uh, that's outside of my jurisdiction. So, I don't know too much about it, but I'm sure the person in charge is desperately trying to fix it as we speak. It should be fixed soon. Maybe it's you. I got Tama's report. The QR video seems to be the key to solving this case. And she believes Chikara is linked to the Bats 490 video, which has a striking similarity. He's extremely suspicious. He must be the culprit. I think it's a bit early for that conclusion. But he said he didn't know about the video, right? If he's willing to lie about one thing, he's willing to lie about everything. True. I still think that's a bit unreasonable. I used to unironically think that. In any what, case, one of my more started? toxic Review. opinions that I have you for a while. Maybe still have it a little bit. Sync with him. Why is Sync Somnium the first resort? 
Just talk to him a little bit. Let's go and have an interrogation. Old fashioned interrogation. Wine and dine. Somnium. So Say the line, Pewter. Ryuki, this isn't your first time sinking. Not that line. You've delved into Somnia many times in the past six months. Six months again. So, I'm sure you know without me telling you, but... I can only stay in Somnia for six minutes. <laughs> yeah! It's all right. I know. Okay, then. Let's begin. Do you know how I've trained my brain now if there's any, ever anyone talking to someone in any other game through a window or glass? That I have to be like, oh, six minutes is on it! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What is this place? It looks like something made by an older generation of CG technology. Back when it was still hyped up as groundbreaking, huh? Oh, we're Tama. Hey, did you see someone just now? Looks nope. suspicious. Why don't we ask that person there about it? Who? You must have a lot of questions, like, what happened to your other half? Not really. Must be hard to walk. Bench pressing must be tough too. You really want me to ask about that stuff? Yeah, do it. Are you talking to Tama or hey, the statue? Isn't benching kind of hard? Hey, why are you talking to a statue? Damn it, Ryuki. Stop wasting my time. We can only be in Somnium for six minutes. <laughs> oh. Damn it, damn it, damn it. This is getting out of hand. That's Chikara. Tama, follow him. On this side, my genius left brain harnessing my processing power. On this side, my brilliant right brain within which my creativity is boundless. If only they were split apart and they wouldn't interfere with each other. The very layout of this facility itself, mimicking my brain, will serve Wait. as inspiration for my masterpiece. Hold on, are they, are they like... Make are they like splitting the left and right side of the brain? That's bullshit, by the way. That's not a real thing, but like people, some people think it. So you split the left side of the brain, then replicate it, but this time on the right side and put it together, and then put the right side of the brain and replicate that. So this, so you can make a whole right-sided person that has a whole brain working with it, and a whole left-sided brain. So there's like the creative version of you that's running around, full full brain in it, and then there's like a logical, uh, party like full brain running around. Hmm. Hmm. Her boobs are ridiculous, huh? Like, come on. What the fuck? What's going on here? I need to be careful. Can't get too close. Now, this. Bionic Body's accidental bio chip. The Bionic Body Creation Program. Bio what? BBAB. -B. The logical center of the left. Breaking. And the creative center of the right. By combining them. I can create a superhuman. What do you mean? That's just... Just making a person. Whew! Wouldn't want that getting out. I hope I never see you again. <laughs> Goodbye! No, oh, he ran off. Jakar in this dream world is just as bonkers as he is in real life. Looks like he doesn't want anyone in this room. Yeah, you can tell by the conscious antibody in front of the door. Conscious antibody? They're an embodiment of a sink subject's caution. When you try to access information that the sink E is trying to hide, it overstimulates the synapse. That makes the body emit a ton of norepinephrine, which creates a conscious antibody within the somnium. Well, what does this conscious antibody do? You see how it says instant death on his crotch there? If I touch him, a massive delay spike will occur in the sync information transfer system. Which means... Oh, I'm sorry, did Leonardo DiCaprio teach him fucking anti-somnium tech? What, what, what the fucking Inception horseshit is this? Touch him and our available time in Somnium drops like crazy. Okay. Got it. But how do we get into the room without getting past our do not touch power stance man friend here? 
Well, we just need to get rid of the conscious antibody somehow. All right. What if we use that device that Chikara was using to move instant death power stance man? Let's do it. I'm sorry, instant death power stance man? Yeah, I thought that was a pretty appropriate name for him. Anyway, let's check the device first. Looks like the power is out. Let's start by activating the device. Yeah, let's go. Somnium scan, activate! Burning! Mental lock one. Four locks this time. Four chastity belts. All right. Uncover the secret Chikara is hiding. There's no doubt Chikara is hiding something. Open the door and expose what he is hiding. Okay. All right. The lock on that door is open. Past that is a stone statue with no power. Power? On a stone statue? This is Chikara's Somnium. You don't have to think about the logic. I mean, that goes anyway, for any Anyway, that Somnium. door. Let's head past it to the stone statue. Use the blank, join the blank, and create a blank. Use the statue, join the statue database, and create a statue destroyer thing. <gasps> What's an effective way of training? Bench press, upright row, back press, deadlift. Uh, upright row. It's for training the deltoids, E. I don't like it because it, it makes my shoulders broader, E. What's wrong with that? Man, I don't know. I don't know what muscle in my arm I, I have let like atrophy, but I was I was sawing the little corner of the door off today to, to get the Ethernet cable to go through the door so I can close and lock the door. So so I was so I had to like lift my arm up keep my arm elevated while I was sawing, right? And like, I couldn't do it for very long, man. Like my, my some, something in around my bicep would just like die so fast. It was so hard. Like, like sawing something below me, I can do that for like a long ass time. Like it's fine. But like, like something about elevating my arm and keeping it up while doing that motion, holy Fuck, I was wrecked so fast. I mean, I got it done, but like, god damn. What muscle was I using? Because I've never used it before. Why is it a mouse cursor now? All right, inspect. <gasps> is this? Inspect. All right, do we get something from these? Like a good timey? They go to outer space by using rockets to breach the atmosphere of Earth. They are highly intelligent and athletic, which allows them to move in zero gravity environments with ease. They are required to have high mental fortitude to live in outer space, much of which is still unknown to us. Further than us all, they've flown. Makes you want to wax poetic, I see. Okay, that was not worth it. Because we can't touch him. Alright, I wonder if it's worth it to inspect these. Alright, we can't get through there yet. Just wasting time right now. Okay, so we want to get through the door. Was it this door? Worried about life. Yes. Yeah, of course. who isn't? Worried about school? Uh, no. Ah. Worried about money? Uh, no. Yes. Worried about work? Uh, no. Mm. Worried about health? Uh, no. Mm. Worried about relationships? Uh, no. Ah. You don't really have worries, do you? Uh, is it bad that I don't have any? You're messing around, right? You have no worries. Why did you come here? I had nothing better to do. Mm hmm. I had nothing better to do. Did you solve the do. HB case already? I did. It was you. 
You should prioritize that first. Get back to the investigation. Oh, mommy's angry. Did we get any more suits or everything? Oh, we did. I'll dress up. Come. This way. We, oh, we didn't. This okay. white part. Maybe we have to buy them. Okay, do we want to go down there? How do I see the map? It's, it's X. Alright, I can't remember which one she was talking about now. All right, let's go the here. Is, open. All is right. this even a door? It's so thin. That's just how it is in this world. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Oh, it moves sideways. We're here. Oh, we don't have to walk That's down. That's the stone go. statue without power. Let's get closer and check it. We appreciate power. Use the machine in the center. Join the two stone statues and create the transcendental superhuman. Transcendental superhuman. All right, so do I have to match this with the right one inside? Off and on. Is this the switch for the statue? How do we turn this on? Hmm. Rub it? Why don't you feel around that area? What area? Whatever feels right, Tama. The robot arm control PC has been activated. Activate right temp right front temporal lobe statue. It's on. You're amazing, Tama. It says, not available, stone statue activated. Wait, so is it on or off? Maybe you need to flip the switches for all the statues. Right. According to the Somnium scan, there are multiple statues. But let's head back to the device first. How did you know there was a switch there? How did you know? Let's go back to the device. Oh, wait. Can't we go to the other small room from this room? How would you do that? It's too high. I can't jump that. Something human, your powers. You can something to something if you wanted to. Hmm. Just, just do it, Lameo. Proceed. All right, let's go. Okay, ready. I'm sorry. What? A normal jump won't suffice. We need to think of a way to go up. Maybe we can do something with the device in the center. Ryuki, you have five minutes left. So if I was in the zone, yeah. We can go through here. B B A B. Activating. In this experiment, you can combine two different brains with different functions to create a new human life form. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. We just need to choose the left and right brain and combine them like Jikara did. So they're combining halves of different people and then they just get one of those advanced Date masks and put them over it so no one can tell? No. Wouldn't they have to match the size of the person? Or can they do some fudging with that? Or does everyone have to be a match? <sighs> what can we choose from? Left. Maasai warrior, fisherman, and A. Right side was astronaut and archaeologist. We can combine different brain functions of the left and right brains and create a new human with characteristics from both. It seems like Chikara used that to gain some kind of power earlier. 
So creating a new human means gaining some kind of superhuman ability. And you select that power on this? Oh, I remember seeing another room next to the small room we were in earlier. Yeah, it was too high, so I couldn't reach. Maybe we have to give you a power that'll yeah. help you get up there. So astronaut shot. and something else. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. The room was high and far. By combining two brain functions that'll allow us to move that distance. What do you choose, Ryuki? Ooh, hey, how's it going? Fisherman... Mazai Warrior, N-A? What do you mean N-A? Like, none of them? Knocking Astronaut? I, I would guess the Warrior. Please select right brain function. I mean, we need the Fisherman so we can cast up and then reel ourselves up with an astronaut, okay. Left, Maasai warrior. Right, astronaut selected. Starting experiment. What's going on? Experiment successful. Just like I expected. Combined. A Maasai warrior's leg strength and the atmosphere piercing power of an astronaut to gain superhuman leg strength. Tama. Oh man. You okay? We could already crush I a watermelon though. Bumps. What can we do now? It said you gained superhuman leg strength. Maybe we can get to that other room using that power. Okay. That might be it. Let's give it a shot. Okay. I cannot wait to get debated by the game right now. We go in and it's like, Lamayo, you, you, your leg strength is too strong this and you overshoot. Okay. All right, let's go. Okay, ready. Wow. Oh, okay. The experiment worked! Oh, oh. Happy Chikara! Chikara Horadori has done it again! Oh, the epigenetic ecstasy! What are we even watching right now? Oh. <laughs> By stimulating the DNA correlating to high leg strength through imagination, it caused a slight transformation in the base sequence. This small change has allowed for surpassing the limit of telomeres. We can do anything in this simulation world. There are no limits. What a wonderful world. I guess things worked out. Simulation So world. every time we do something right, we have to watch this creepy old dude ascend into the sky? You want to join? Hell no. Someone going on outside or do you know you're in a somnium? Okay, so now we just have to what? Drive a car? A stone statue without power. Activate it. <laughs> We're losing a lot of time. This stone statue is a racer. If they mean an autosport driver, those guys are incredibly skilled. They have to make split second decisions. That skill might be beneficial in other areas than driving, too. Not to mention, there is a car right there. I see. Using the driving skill. But look, that says trap. Driving skill alone might not be enough. Maybe we can combine it with a brain function that's good at avoiding traps. I don't remember seeing anything like that. Anyway, let's head back to the central room. Okay, how are we getting up here, though, without the legs? Really? Go back all the, all the way back to the beginning? Super reaction by the person trapped by something. Sixth, no, seventh sense. They who traverse space experience it. Four minutes now. Just astronaut the whole time. Always astronaut. I thought I saw an eye there. This door is open. I wonder if we can go to the central room. Let's go find out. We're you are here. the audience for this Looks game? Like How can you look at her and say now. that? Ten eyeballs gained. 
Okay. They who... Do I have to go look at them all before I know the options? I don't think so. I didn't look at the warrior one. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. The car from earlier. And what to do about the trap? What do you think fits best? Okay. Well, we have to take the racer. Like, there's no way we can't take the racer. So it's racer and something else, right? So can we put the racer on the right? Can fishermen avoid traps? I don't know. I think we have to take Please the racer. Please select right brain function. Archaeologist? I mean, not really, but are they thinking it's like Indiana Jones? Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. Left. Racer. Right. Archaeologist selected. Starting experiment. <laughs> experiment successful. Combined. A racer's driving skill and an archaeologist's knack for dodging traps. <laughs> to gain movie protagonist superhuman driving skills. All right, whatever. Guess it's time for love, Dr. Jones. That should Ooh. help us dodge any traps. That's so antiquated. Nowadays, sports cars go up against nuclear submarines. Oh well, this is Shakara's preference. Now let's go back to the room with the car. Is that some think we can get there from the passage we Fast and Furious yeah, reference that I'm too uh, too nerdy to understand? All right, where do we go? We go we go up there, right? That's where we were. We can go through here. Let's go. All right, get in. I'll avoid any traps with elegance and grace. Thinking time. Oh man, I'm good at this. I could have done this on my own. Tama, behind you. Huh? Rolling ball. Do 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 do. Oh, she's drifting. So they did all this, but they couldn't update the scene where you're driving through the city. All right. Hey, Tama, the road. What about the road? There is no road. Ah! What are we gonna do? Step on it. On what? The gas. The gas. The gas. Okay. Colosum is here represented by a treacherous ancient ruin. All right. A theory that links this complex and bizarre passage is now complete. But this should be theoretically impossible. No, there is no impossible in this world. <laughs> no, this is not good. Not good indeed. Chikara, ew! Why don't you think of it as some kind of reward cutscene? The fact that I have to force myself to think that already makes it not a reward. Gaming commentary. Oh, that was only a tiny little bit. How long is the Somnium? Goddamn. I uh, thank you to Elden Rings for the resub. Bold of you to uh, to resub and show up here with that name, Elden Rings. Thank you very much, and thank you uh, Bu Noodle for the resub as well. Thank you, thank you, Bu Noodle. All right. Is there an eye around here? There's gotta be an eye around here. There's gotta be. No eye? All right, what's this? Turn it on. Got it. The 
gambler. Hmm. Can you touch the insta kills, man, to see if it really kills you? What's that? What's that three next to your name mean? Huh? Hmm. This stone statue is a gambler. I guess that means they have guts. So this gambler is known for winning bets when the chips are down. That must mean they can win the big ones without flinching. Now let's head back to the central room. Don't look for it. Something. You can get a something. Something can be done by any person. Don't look for it. Feel it? You can you can get a I don't know. You have three minutes left, Ryuki. Focus. We can go through here. Let's go. Is Tom's voice actress locked in for Marcin Senpai's? I don't, I don't know if we're going to have a voice budget, but you know, like if we do and she's available, absolutely. She's doing stellar work here. I'm quite smitten, I can't lie. No. It's me, Chika. What the hell? This is no good. No good. No good at all. Yes, yes, yes. Now, let's test this. Now comes the true test. Right brain, reselection. What? What's happening? Uh oh. The room flew away. Yin Yang. The experiment worked. Oh, happy, happy Chikara. Chikara Horadori has done it again! <laughs> oh, we have the genetic ecstasy! This right brain reselection is a function that blows away my past. The past I don't want anyone to see. Sorry, one second. Someone asked a question, I get to do my bit. Have you played the Zero Escape series? Sorry if that's been asked already. I'm new. And yet it doesn't say first time chatter next to your name, huh? Not only did I play it. Not only did I play it. I streamed it. I streamed it. Some of the best streams we did, actually. My right brain can be shuffled back into the deck. Goodbye, forbidden memory. What are we gonna do? When we drove through the passageway, Chikara said, theoretically impossible and not good. So maybe we did something he wasn't expecting. If we use the device to combine two different brain functions, we might be able to find a way. If we can prevent Chikara from using his right brain reselection thing, we might be able to make it to the room. He said something about a memory he doesn't want to be seen. Okay, so we take we take his memory? What should I do if an old guy attacks me? Hit epigastrium, crush throat, hit temple, kick chin. You do that scene from Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, hit, hit, hit that, hit that. Not for amateurs, he can't breathe. -y. Okay, what's that? View monitor. Current ability is left race. Oh, this was not worth right. 10 seconds. Archaeologist. This was not worth 10 seconds. Yeah, but how will we stop Chikara? There was something hidden in the room we were in earlier. If only we could pull it back somehow. We need a big idea here. Aw, oh, fisherman! Beginning experiment. Reel it back! Please select left brain function. We use the fisherman to cast and reel it back in. Here Please we go. Please select right brain function. All right. But who? The gambler? How would the gambler do it? 
astronauts have like stronger? I don't know. I guess gambler. Left. Fisherman. Right. Gambler selected. Starting experiment. Lucky cast, do the perfect cast from the goofy oh, movie. Right. Experiment successful. We're McReady. Combined, a tuna fisherman's pulling skill and a gambler's ability to make the right choice. To obtain superhuman luck. Luck. Is this gonna do anything? Well, try it. Let's fish back the room that flew away. How's it going? I think I got something. That must be it. Reel it in. The experiment worked. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Happy Chikara. Chikara Horadori has done it again. <gasps> oh, the epigenetic ecstasy. Good. The memory I want to leave behind has already been shuffled. <laughs> And this memory is no good either. I thought I deleted it. No. No. If you succeed with the Eternal Youth experiment, my memory will be discovered. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Jikara's memory was replaced with something else. But it got replaced with another memory he didn't want seen. It might be worth looking into. Chikara said that if the Eternal Youth Experiment is successful, his memory will be discovered. So if we complete the research on that device... We might be able to defeat Instant Death Power Stance Man over there and <laughs> get into the room he's guarding. Okay, how do we do that? That stone statue is a little different. Nah. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. That stone statue has... Chikara's face hastily slapped on. Chikara said that using Purge, he can create an ageless and undying body. But if we use the stone statue... Turn it on. Oh no. What's the problem? Seeing this face... Are you sure about turning it on? We've invested too much already. There's no other way. Fine, okay. Do it. Do it. You didn't want to touch the crotch because oh you didn't want to touch the crotch because of chikara's face huh yeah duh my theory is almost complete the creator of a man who something is something you only have two minutes hurry ryuki okay i don't i don't know what to do do i go through some of these doors or do i just make another one now would be nice to create eternal youth in life. And something that will let us get rid of instant death power stance man over there. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. NA? Just do nothing? We haven't... We haven't done that yet. Please select right brain function. D oh, what the hell? Debugger? Shaman? Where did these come from? Well, we have to use Chikara. We just got him. Left. N-A. Right. Chikara selected. Starting experiment. Error. It's 
an error. It's an I error. guess an A isn't a job. I wonder what it's for. Hmm. All right, what do we combine then? Is is there? Do we have to use one of the old halves that we used before, or do does it matter? Can we use any of them and mix it? Or can we go somewhere else now that we couldn't go to before? Where did we go? We went here, we jumped up there, then we rode the car down here, which is where we got the gambler, right? We want to get here. So can we go here? Can I set a, a, a waypoint or whatever? Wait, what? I'm confused. All right, if I look at the where we're supposed to go and I turn right, I'll be able to see it. So that's where we're supposed to go. So it's 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 there. No, I can't go. All right, can I? Are there any more I can open here that I didn't see before? That's the warrior. Right? What what side was it? It was so I need a side that's that's here. That's the warrior. Oh, there's more than one warrior. What's this? Those who catch fish in bodies of water, oh, such as fisherman. oceans or rivers. They are knowledgeable about the ecology of fish and have many skills that aid them in catching their target. They go out to the ocean pretty much every day, have incredible navigating skills, and a sturdy body. Sea peoples. You mean the guys from 1200 AD? Supposedly, they were wiped out by a rival Mediterranean kingdom. Not much is known about them. Huh? Don't look for it, do it. You can get a jackpot. Luck can be harnessed by any person. Uh, what? What, we already did the luck one, didn't we? Where do I see that in the menu? Where do I see the keys? Shit. Where was the key button? Uh oh. A lock info. Yeah, all right, so that was one we already did. All right, so my theory is almost complete. The creator of a man who something is... I don't know what to do. Is it just anything with Chikara? That's, that's the, um... Are there new ones out there that we can go get? Hold on, let's see. It's only gonna take us five seconds. This door is seconds a lock. Okay. Okay, that's the same one, right? Who are you? What was this one again? What did we use before? We used the warrior and the astronaut, and we got both of them. Did we get a warrior from here? I can't remember. Who's the one with the spear in there then? Who's this one? NA. Not available. There's no additional information. Oh. Does this stone statue have no other use? I don't know. Oh, it's, a, it's actually a statue. That's weird. All right, let's go back. I think we we're probably gonna here. have to reset. You have a minute left. Okay, I don't think there's anything we can put together or, or get here. So I think we just have to, um, unless we go up there and find another one. It changed, right? Do we go up there? Oh man, I don't know. Let's go up, let's do it. We can go through here. No, it's still the race car driver, shit. We can go through here. The person who's most obsessed with eternal youth and life is... Another function that'll allow us to deal with instant death power stance, man. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. 
Okay, so it's it's warrior, fisherman, racer. I don't think it matters. I think it's just anyone with Jakari. Let's just go warrior. Please select right brain function. And then we we have to go Jakari, right? Cause like, what the fuck are these? Debugger? Would a debugger get through? Oh, do I put NA with debugger? And that will fix it. And then after that, I I do whatever NA turns into with Shikara. Or am I like thinking too hard there? Oh, let's try this and Left. see. Masai warrior. Right, Chikara selected. Starting experiment. Experiment successful. Combined, a Maasai warrior's battle skill and Chikara's genetic engineering knowledge. To create an undying and unaging warrior. Funny that the machine is on a first name basis with Chikara. Okay, undying. Now we can finally beat up instant death power stance, man. Okay, it seems like that was All a right. thing. Okay. Let's go. Go, Tama. Let's go. Jiggle. Experiment worked. Oh, happy, happy, happy. Chikara. Why should humans die? What a waste it is to perish. The research results are splendid. But now is not the time. Not now. Not now. If Chikara gets in our way again, no amount of time is enough time. Let's go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're not done. This stone statue is Jakar's memory that he doesn't want to be seen. Turn it on. A nine stone statue. Nine. Nine in Roman numerals. What is the significance of nine? That, that maybe upside down he has sex. nine mistresses. Or maybe he's being sued by nine people. The stone statue. Maybe we use a brain function again. Should we go back to the central device? Let's do it. We can go through here. Let's go. You're out of time. All right. Did you okay. decide what two brain functions you will combine? Yeah. This should do it. What are we combining? Beginning experiment. <laughs> Please select left brain function. What? What do you mean? I don't know. Do we now do we combine NA? Or is it just anything with the other one? <sighs> Why would you do this? We're recovering an old memory. Like none of these are applicable. Last time it was like a warrior, you you make an undying warrior. A fisherman that's gonna remember shit? A racer that's gonna like race to the, like, and, what? There's, there's nothing here that fits. But NA did an error last time and it didn't work. But do we want an error? I thought we were gonna combine the memory with one of the other ones after this.
none of these are yeah none of these are applicable if only there was a none of these are applicable option i feel like that's gonna give me an error oh, fuck man i'm doing it i'm doing it select right i'm doing it i'm doing it i'm doing it nine left n a right nine selected starting experiment this again what why wait he's zero Hacker Experiment man. successful. Nice at loss. NA and nine. Nice. Ryuki, this is. I know. That's four ninety. So when they used the, the nanomachines on Iris, it infected the whole system. Sure, it cured her, but at what cost? What in the hypnospace is this? Performance result, egoism. Okay. Two eleven, ought to know. Ryu Ry Ryuki chapter one. I punch it to the forehead, my kick like a warhead. Nice Japan branch. Welcome. I am the president of the Japanese Nizet Laws branch, Tokiko Shigure. I apologize for visiting so late at night. I'm from the Metropolitan Police Department. Totally not evil. Mr. Ryuki, is it? Mamaru, my secretary, has already informed me. I hear you've come to ask about Jin Furaway's murder. So? This is the president's office of the top floor of the building containing the Japanese branch of Nizet Laws, commonly known as Knights. When I synced with Shikira earlier, Tama and I saw something in Insomnium. Someone who looked like they were in Nice was making the Bats 490 video. And that's why we ended up here. Are you a robot? You kind of look like a robot. We came to the president's office to talk to the president. Okay. What should I call this? A pond, maybe? Well, it's sure not a river. We'll go with pond for now. That's a strange statue. Why would they make something like this indoors? Because it's cool as fuck. Who, Who doesn't want an indoor waterfall? Why would why would we waste our wink sink? Wait, I can only wink sink one. Oh, sorry, my Tamagotchi needs to ask a question. What food do you make your visiting friends? I have no friends. Grilled eel, eel liver, liver soup, eel sushi, eel... Okay, grilled eel. I can pretend I'm Richie. Okay, we, we definitely want to save it for no reason. And we definitely want to use our wink sink on the guard. It was the heat of the moment thing, but I ended up quitting my job. I don't regret punching that scumbag, but hmm, what am I going to do now? I've got ten children to think about. What? What? A job? With the conditions I requested? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do anything, as long as it's not illegal. 
Oh, whoops. Well, you have more kids than I do. Holy crap. I was only hired recently. I don't know much about it, really. Yeah, but I'm also her bodyguard. I used to be a bodyguard for a certain politician until the end of last year. But he was a piece of human garbage. I slugged him in the face and resigned. Then ended up here thanks to an acquaintance introducing me. Something funny. There, I said it. Your badge. That's something phony. Oh, oh. What is this? A vaudeville routine? That wasn't funny at all. It's Tokiko Shiguri, the president of... Ma Considering the fact that you are here, I assume it would be pointless to hide it. Indeed. I had my subordinates create that video. BATS 490 was an ARG. Just a game. But there was a high-level encryption hiding a message within. It was a game! Is it one of these things where they're recruiting people, that, and if you found the message, then that means that you, you're you probably smart enough to work for them or some horseshit like that? We have been seeking high IQ yeah, there individuals with the capability to decode it. The purpose was to recruit them into Nyes. So this QR video was made for the same reason? I am aware of that video. I saw it on the news. However, it's completely unrelated to Nyes. I assume someone made it with the intent to imitate Bats 490. What do you think, Tama? Hmm, hard to say on that alone. Do you mean the man from Horadori Institute of Genetics? So you do know him. I'm actually here because of a tip I got from oh, him. I smell a somnium. Shikara is under arrest? No, he was just released earlier. We didn't have enough evidence to keep him detained. I see. Shikara is a former member of Nyes, though this was over 20 years ago. When he left us, he became an avid believer in the Order of Percent. Order of Percent? It's an organization that split off from Nyes. You could say they are a sect. The Order of Percent is a religious sect, whereas we are an ideological society. What? Despite our common roots, we are heading in completely different directions. Then how did Chikara know that Nyes created Bats 490? I wouldn't know about that. Perhaps he asked an acquaintance from Nyes. Judging by the way you asked that, I assume that's Jin's estimated time of death? Well, yes. I was in Okinawa from the night of the 8th. I had a seminar to attend on the 9th and 10th. I returned to Tokyo late last night. I checked the logs for hotels and airports, for smartphone access points, and the security footage for each location. Yeah, but is it just her body double wearing a really good mask? Now now that we have realistic masks that, that even, you know, colleagues can't tell, who knows who's who? Am I even me? Are we even Ryuki? Like, what's, what's going on? Is Tama wearing a mask? An AI ball mask? Like, well, what's going on? It's true that Tokiko was in Okinawa from the 8th to the 10th. So she has an alibi. As long as you presume Jin's body wasn't brought back with her from Okinawa. There's a glass doll here. Office desk. Chair. That's the Nanyapul X. The symbol of knives. Oh, Nanyapul means consisting of nine. Alright, Musk. You know how they're single, double, triple? Does Musk know about that? That's like the like like X upon X. Holy shit! Get him on the phone. Nanupal is the ninth. So Nanupal X means nine X's. Same so. Did you know that nine at laws is derived from nine X at lozenge? Lozenge referring to a diamond shape. In other words, nine at laws means the nine X's of the diamond. Mm -hmm. All right, Mr. Robot. Who gives a shit? I had a very hard time finding the place. After all, Nyes is a secret organization hidden from the public. That's a good thing Boss just happened to know someone who knew this location. Otherwise, we would have been out of luck. Lost over that, huh? Even after I got inside the building, it wasn't easy. The guards, the security gates... Uh-huh. Yep, not showing that, but we sh we showed some rando, like, like proposed to some girl that we don't even know who she is properly, although she's probably Boss's daughter. Alright, yeah, sure, whatever. If I hadn't met Mamoru at the entrance, I probably wouldn't even have made it to this office. Mm -hmm. I know about Abyss. 
and I know it's trustworthy. D That's why I let you through to talk to the president. We're not, though. Th that's not true. We're not, though. We're anyway, I was surprised. I had heard of Nice, the secret organization, so, but I thought yep. it was just an urban legend. I can't believe it actually exists. Yes, there has been all sorts of gossip about us. Oh my god. Some claim we're a secret society of Satanists, or that we have something to do with a sequence of binary code that came from space. But that's all nonsense. Made up stories that become more and more embellished as they were passed on. Rumors are quite a terrifying thing. Nyes is a perfectly legitimate ideological society. <laughs> yeah, okay. Our headquarters are located in New York, <sighs> with many branches in cities throughout the world. This is one such branch. This is a common misconception, but Nyes is not a religious organization. We are a group of like-minded individuals who act together based on a certain together. understanding of the universe. Where and that is? Where are you getting your money the from? Simulation theory. Have you heard of it? That the world is an artificial simulation of reality created by someone or something. That's the theory. Yeah, probably uh, by Iris You're at this saying point. Everything in this world we're living in isn't real. This world yes. isn't per It's a false world constructed with specific rules by a program. And if it is made by a program, there must by necessity be imperfections, edges, or seams. Mm, no. To find these seams, or to create them, is our objective. Not necessarily. Why would you do that? If you tear at the seams of a cloth, it will unravel. And the hole will be created. Yeah, and then they just like reload an earlier save five seconds before you did, and then fix it. You get fucked, Lamayo. You probably found a million of them already, and you just don't remember. You're helping them. You're just beta testing. You just for free. You're doing it for free. Thusly, we will tear at the seams of the program until it is unraveled, and its people are emancipated. That is our ultimate goal. This old hag has completely lost it. The intersection between the warp and weft. That's where the seam can occur. I don't understand. You will someday. It is a prophecy. It will be fulfilled eventually. Uh-oh. Not religious, by the way. What is that? <laughs> it's a hand sign we use. It's meant to resemble the sign behind me. Is, is Iris feeding you these lines through an earpiece right now? This is pure cringe. Way, Let's leave. Do you mind if I asked you a question? What are we doing? What is it? Are you perhaps a Freyer? 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 Frey Frey, I thought I heard that somewhere before. I am yeah. asking the person within you. I'm a Freyer. A Freyer is someone who, who tears through the fabric of the simulation. What? I will ask you one more time. Are you a Freyer? A Freyer? Oh no, is it talking to me? How do I... What's this? Uh, yes. Hey, you Yuki. As I thought. Then you've realized this world is fictional. Am I correct? This world is fictional? Uh, yeah, of course. Yuki, yeah. what's gotten into you? Then please tell me the nil number. If you truly are a Freya, you should know it. Nil number. Well, I mean, if it's going meta, I can just Google this, right? Okay, hold on one second. What is the nil number? All right, it's zero. Actually, it's probably just six sixes. Incorrect input. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. Uh, six, nine, six, nine, six, nine. So you don't know. In other words, you lied. No good. She saw right through it. I thought that I could get her to keep talking if I fake my way through it. Way to go. What is a nil number? What is a frayer? Frey. Frey. Right. I remember now. It was written on that sign. Yeah, duh, yeah. Frey to free. Frey can mean fight, but it can also mean to wear out or tear. Wait, wait hold on. What was the URL of, 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 the, of, the, of the YouTube video? That's the nil number. 
They just kept they just kept uploading it until they got the right number that they wanted for the game. Remember what Tokiko said. Their ultimate goal is to break down this world and emancipate its people. Miss Shigure, are you sure Nice didn't make the QR video? We did not. But the word fray was written on that sign in the QR code. We of Nice are only involved in Bats 490, which we created half a year ago. We are not the ones who created the QR video. The word fray being displayed on that sign must be a coincidence. That can't be just a coincidence. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, but it can. No, it can't. After all, we are living in nothing but a simulation. Why? A false world created by a program. So just, a anything can be explained by the simulation now. Oh, okay. And such programs always have some glitches lurking under the surface. We call such glitches okay. scenes. Shouldn't you be super interested in that then? Coincidences like this are a manifestation of such glitches. Proof of imperfection. Proof of the scene. Proof of bad writing, yep. The appearance of Jin's corpse is also likely to be an example of such phenomenon. What? Are you familiar with the Philadelphia experiment? I actually am, It's a yeah. top secret military experiment that's said to have taken place in the American city of Philadelphia on October 28th, 1943. Mm -hmm. A powerful electromagnetic wave was fired towards the USS Eldridge, a destroyer-class warship. Supposedly, the reason for doing this was to conceal the ship from showing up on radar. But as soon as the experiment began, something strange happened. The Eldridge was enshrouded in a greenish mist, then vanished. Afterward, it appeared at a military port in Norfolk, nearly 200 miles away from the shipyard in Philadelphia. Sometime later, it reappeared in its original position again. So you're saying it teleported? Well, it's nothing but an urban legend. Just an occult story with low credibility. No, it happened for sure. A part of our heritage. I really tell a story directly to Tokiko. Yes, exactly. However, the story doesn't end there. It was ripped in half. When the USS Eldridge returned to Philadelphia, it's just half there of were it. several sailors on board, but they were all in half. some of them had melted like a rotten banana, while others <gasps> ended up with their bodies entirely burned and blackened. Stein's Gate! Others were said to have merged with the steel hull, their bodies having become a piece of the ship. Does that sound familiar? You mean Jin? Are you saying his right half teleported here? It isn't impossible. If a scene was torn, that is. Impossible. I mean, a portal might open right now and a T-Rex might appear and eat you because, you know, it's all simulation. If a scene appeared, who gives a shit? You like this park, don't you, Ryuki? I feel calm when I'm around nature. It's a goddamn fountain. It's I, like need to I pee. can feel the buzz inside me quieting down. Tama, what do you think about what Tokiko said earlier? It's all bullshit. Is something like teleportation really possible? Uh, hey, come on. I told you the Philadelphia experiment is just an urban legend. How else can you explain what happened with Jin? We can't deny that his right half suddenly appeared out of nowhere. <sighs> Jeez. Then, why don't we find out for ourselves? What do you mean? You want to go to the studio right now? No need. Just close your eyes. We're gonna be morbing My for eyes? real this game, aren't Just we? Just do it! This game's gonna have uh, morbing. Okay. I'm morbing on the morbing. What the? Did we teleport here? Are you serious? We're in Studio De Vita, aren't we? It just seems that way. We're not actually there. Last night, I scanned every nook and cranny of the scene. Okay. What you're looking at now is what I replicated using that data. Have you been doing wow. that the whole time? It's like I'm actually there. Uh-oh. The corpse looks so real. Want me to put a mosaic over it? Uh-oh. Uncensored is fine. Is that now, why the background we're driving around looks so shitty in low res? Because it really is Your low res? objective is to solve the mystery behind the sudden appearance of Jin's right half. Okay. All right. Let's start looking around. How do we not know how... Virtual reality activation. How do we... Oh, oh, no wonder Iba got so mad. 
Really? He used this for that? Based. Oh, man. Oh, holy shit, Date. Holy shit, the VR allows you to walk around the scene and gather information. Thomas special vision act vision modes, such as x-ray mode, can be applied to everything. Okay. How do we not know how you burst into flames? By changing the special mode, what you can inspect will change. Utilize this to find the hidden information. Oh, we can move his Ryuki. Oh, this is cool. It's like it's like investigating, but it's not a Somnium. There's an electric kettle Maybe here. Maybe it's for having tea during breaks. What kind of fucking kettle is that? I've never seen a kettle like that before. See, this is the kettle. You're supposed to pour cold water into it. I read Jad's after that, and the fucking idiots on Jad's thinking I was saying you make soup with cold water means that you just have cold soup. Motherfucker, obviously, you use cold water from the cold tap, and you heat up the water. You don't let, uh, wh why would you think that when I said use cold water for cooking that you thought I meant all your foods now cold? Like, no, you just don't use hot water from your, from the boiler for cooking because it might be unsafe to drink. If you go and do the research and you look into it and you find out that your setup is safe to drink, then all right, more power to you. You go for it. You do you. But in general, it's a good practice if you don't know to only drink and, and cook with cold water. It's a camera. That body was shown to the entire world through this camera. Nagas, have you started heating up your water when you have your warm water drink? You you started heating it up, right? You're not just drinking it from the tap. Or are you like, yeah, it hasn't hurt me so far. Who gives a shit? It's You're still drinking tap, hot water from the tap? What are you doing? You're going to get sick. It's not hot. It's warm. It's still. What do you think? Do you think? No, no. It's because it's, it's, it's warm. It's only a little bit contaminated. That's okay. It's still fucking coming from the boiler, my dude. Like it's still like like the source is still there. It's coming from inside the house. What are you talking about? I am once again reminded that my window is open. I'm built different. Okay. All right. Okay. Whatever. Your honor, my defendant is simply built different. Podium used by the quiz show host. An AmiB TV logo. The questions for the quiz also show up here too. Huh. Okay, how is X-ray going to matter when, like, for you to have done the scan? you would have had to have already known it was there. How can we find anything in a recreation? You would have to have the information. Okay, whatever. I wonder how deep this sign is embedded. What do we do at times like these? Right, the x-ray. Just have good tap water. I, I have good tap water. I drink good tap water. I'm drinking tap water right now. I fill up my bottles with tap water. Here I go. Mmm, yum. It's from, it's cold water though. And I always let the water run for a little bit before I start filling up my bottle so it doesn't taste like the tap. I love tap water. Or it doesn't taste like the pipe. But you're not supposed to drink hot water. Question, question mark? Oh, if you haven't lived, you always let it run for a little bit before you have your before you fill up your glass with, with, uh, with water. Like I mentioned yesterday, Jin's estimated time of death is 6 o'clock on February 9th. Based on the time this corpse appeared, it should be about 40 hours ago. Hmm. Rigor mortis seems to be fading already. It's not completely gone yet, but the body has somewhat softened at this point. It should take more time to get to the stage if it's been on a rooftop in the winter. That's why I think this corpse was kept indoors. Someplace warm. Rigor mortis was already fading and the body had somewhat softened by the time it was found. Hmm. Okay. What skill can defeat an old man? Uh, it's the most useful move to perform on an enemy if you, when you want to pin the me. German tap water is safe to drink and it's still official recommendation not to drink warm tap water, it just cold. Yeah, because the 
the water, the, the hot water in most setups is coming from a boiler that is sitting in your in your basement somewhere, or if you, you some people might have it in their roof, whatever. And it's like it's it's staying hot. It's not like some setups will heat up the water instantly when you need it. And if that's the case, maybe it's safe to drink. I don't know about those setups. We had a, when I was growing up, one of the houses we lived in had a shower that was like that. And, and it had like the shower was this clunky motherfucking box that sat in the shower and that would heat up the water as, as it, as it ran through it. If that's the case, it might be safe to drink check however if you have a a reservoir pretty much a, a tank of fucking hot water just ready to go in a boiler and you're drinking that that is almost certainly not safe to drink and you shouldn't use it for cooking either Why is it unsafe? Probably because having a bunch of warm to hot water sitting around is um, a breeding ground for bacteria. It's not flushed, flushed out in, uh, as much as the cold water is, and it may leak some stuff from the tank at the same time when there's hot water is sitting in there the whole time, and probably something else that I don't know. I don't know exactly why it's unsafe, I just know that it's not, because that's all the recommendations that I've read and seen everywhere. I'm surprised that there's a lot of people that don't know this, because it's pretty common knowledge. Maybe in the area that you're in, it isn't like that. However, I have to stress, don't just assume, oh, because I didn't hear about it, and I must live in one of those areas. Fucking check. Like, actually check, because you, you might be putting yourself at risk. Like, I'm serious. This isn't a bit. What's this over here? Quiz so, show, show set. These aren't good for much other than for show. Wow. I can switch to x-ray mode, too. That's because I've gathered all data from the scene. Hmm. The bottom part of the signboard is stuck pretty deep in there. Hmm. There's a bit of a curve at the tip. Kind of like a man's, you know what? Couldn't you have compared it to a fish hook or something? Well, it won't come out easily. Whoever stuck it in probably hmm. didn't want it pulled out. What is this of shit? Course not. A signboard would be useless unless it's standing. Useless? It's useless unless it's standing? Uh, let's not go there. No, that's not what I meant. The signboard was stuck to the stuck in the corpse, so it's difficult to remove. How did we miss this when we x-rayed the the mouth? What's this? There's something inside the body. Hmm. Three things catch my attention. First, a mixture of potassium chlorate, sulfur, and red phosphorus. What? Are you enjoying this more or less than the first one? I think I was enjoying the first one more at this point because I liked I liked the dynamic between Date and and I uh, Iba more than the dynamic between Ryuki and Tama. I do like Mizuki, but so far as as a playable protagonist, she's barely been playable so far. She's not landing as well as um, as Date did. So far, Ryuki just feels like an everyman protagonist. He's just here. I, maybe he's going to get more interesting later. Maybe they're going to like kind of like bash you over the head with something and surprise you. But so far, Date was actually kind of was interesting and unusual. And um, a lot of the jokes that that are involved around like um, the wordplay and and the and the sexual innuendo and shit landed a lot better because you were Date and, and that kind of character and the dynamic with Ai and so far it's not as good with Ryuki, Ryuki uh, and Tama although I do like Tama and Ryuki's fine he's okay but I'm not hating it it's fine so far it's it's whatever this is probably a fire starter it would ignite very easily the fuse is coiled up and extends from there how did we miss this by the this? way the fuse includes an oxidizing agent so it can continue to burn even inside the body and finally at the end of the fuse is a powder mixture of iron oxide and aluminum. This is a substance that causes a thermite reaction. When ignited, it creates heat of over 3000 degrees Celsius and burns violently. How did you miss this? How did they miss it when they examined the corpse after it burned? How was it still a mystery hours later? How did they not immediately go, yeah, fuck it, it's here. Like, what the? Inside the corpse is a fuel that goes off with even the slightest impact of fuse and, and the substance that causes a thermite reaction. So, when someone tried to move the signboard, it went off, or, or what? Huh. I can see the back of the set. There are a bunch of mannequins here. Oh, is that it? Hmm. 
What's this? Getting a better look at it, it looks like something tied to his waist. It's like a spider's thread. No, even thinner. My analysis concludes that this is a CNT, or carbon nanotube. Graphene sheets with the thickness of a single carbon atom. These were rolled into a cylindrical shape to make these nanotubes. The diameter is about 0.4 nanometers. A single nanometer is one billionth of one meter, so it's not visible to the naked eye. What? But I can see it. Then how did it show up on your scan? That's because this thread is made by bundling multiple CNTs. I've also enhanced your vision so you'd be able to see it. By the way, CNTs are extremely durable. All right. They're elastic and hard to break. And it's said that their theoretical maximum tensile strength is 50 times that of steel. Anyway, where is the other end of the CNT connected? You need uh, 1.2 2 million of those motherfuckers to, to build a bioseed ship, by the way. 1.2 million, and that's, not and that's not including the space stock that you need to, to build before that, and that's not including researching quantum manufacturing before that as well, which is definitely something you should do. It pays for itself easily by the time you get to uh, um, building the bioseed ship. Uh, you need a lot of those motherfuckers. That way, over by that red lamp. Okay, so the corpse was just strung up there the whole time and then it just got set down because of nanotubes? What's this? It's the light switch. The CNT is tied to it. The CNT extending from the corpse was threaded through the, the ceiling beam and tied to the light switch. Trying to bio see without unification right now. So many garages okay. to build. Oh yeah, uni it looks like we're pretty much done doing it without unification here. is really hard. Using the clues we've gathered so far, we should be able to solve the mystery. You mean the mystery of how Jin's body appeared? I did cataclysm without unification. About, right? Yep. The truth reenactment allows you to find the truth with the information you have gathered. Answer Thomas' questions with the best answer. Only by correctly answering her questions will the truth be reenacted. Okay, so I hope this is over soon because we're over time and I need to pee and we're kind of set on a deadline Let's for streams. Let's get on that now. First thing, about that power outage when the body appeared. Was it really just a power outage? I was wondering about that no, too. No, it's just someone turned the, the light off. came back on way too quickly. Plus, if the power did go out, the stream should have cut out at the same time. But the stream went on no problem. So it wasn't an outage. The lights were switched off. No one checked that. How did that? the lights get turned off? What? Well, I think I know what did it. Ooh, what kind of clown shoes operation is this, boss? You're you're a, a detective and inspector. What the what, what, what the fuck? What do you mean? What the fuck? That's the switch that powers the lighting. Yeah, let's not overthink this. Someone simply walked up and flipped this switch. But no one was near the switch when the lights went out. Decoy Let's switch. Try to think of something else. Decoy switch. Oh, someone stacked some books up in the rafters and and at the exact pre precise time, tugged on a nanotube to move one of these these Jupiter things that knocked it down. And the shot put ball that was stacked on top of the book started rolling down here, all the way over here, where it then fell on the light switch, except it's all oh, up is off. So it had to be, a, a, actually it was a basket shot put ball and it hit the floor, bounced up into it and also they timed it with hitting the buzzer to mask the sound of the ball hitting it and bouncing out which means it was us who did it and we're the ones who hit the buzzer at the same time the shot put ball the shot put basketball killer has done it again all right how did lights get turned we, we did this already buzzer the answer button by this contestant's seat is actually it's not a light switch oh shit There were bundled CNTs tied to the body. They were routed through the ceiling beams and onto the light switch. But a dead body can't pull strings. No, but it can fall. From the ceiling, I mean. Now that you mention it, I thought I heard something hit the floor right after the lights went out. The body fell from the ceiling and tugged on the CNT, which caused the light switch to turn off. 
So on to the next question. The corpse was hidden up in the ceiling, right? Then how did it fall? Didn't it, didn't it say something about how like this shit at, at the slightest impact would blow up? Did the falling start the reaction and it takes a second or what? The ceiling beams were damaged. The culprit dropped it from above. Why would the culprit set this? I guess it was that. The rigor mortis softened. Oh. Oh. I knew that the rate of rigor mortis would be exactly at this point. That if that if I put it up there, that a couple hours later, that it would soften to the point that if I they draped it over the, the rafter, it would start to sag and fall at the exact single time that they, that they were doing the show. And I knew that it would turn the light. I, I guess it has to be that. The culprit used the mechanism of the body softening after rigor mortis. The body must have been placed up in the ceiling like a bridge between two beams. It would stay up there while the body is still stiff. But as time passes and rigor mortis lessens, the corpse softens. And that's what made it fall down. Mm -hmm. oh my now God. for the final question. Why did the body explode and burn? Joe, stop being a moron. Play the game properly. My weeb, I was right. That was, that was right! What do you mean? My weeb! Well, that can be explained by using the x-ray mode. The signboard is stuck deep in the corpse. So, how did the body burn? Hmm. Maybe the signboard was a bomb. It was a bomb! What? It was, though. It was. It's true. Inside the corpse is fuel that it's goes off. of a contraption set up inside the body. The ignition agent combusted from the impact of the body hitting the ground. The fire went up the coiled fuse and onto the substance that triggered a thermite reaction. The substance was eventually ignited, causing a huge explosion. So that interval between the fall and explosion was because of the time it took for the fire to reach the end of the fuse. I get it. It was hard to find traces of that trick because it was such an analog method. What? All right, I think we're starting to figure things out here. How how was it in her X-ray scan if she didn't already see it in the X-ray scan when she X-ray scanned the room before? Whatever. Why? What? Why? So you can turn off this VR space now. Okay. No, not yet. That was just a rehearsal. We still have the main show. Okay. What do you mean? We're recreating the culprit's actions. I need to pee. Are you telling me to do that? You're the only actor here, aren't you? Actor? What? So, I'm Tama, the director and camera operator. Now that I'm in the director's chair, I'm not going to tolerate shoddy acting. So keep that in mind. Are we recording something? Of course we are. We're testing a theory here, so we need to create something that can be viewed objectively. I have no idea what you're going on about. Oh, word. Check your stupid mouth, you third-rate bit part actor! Whoa! Are you too much of a moron to figure this out without the director having to tell you everything? But... Just zip it and play the culprit. If we're doing this, we're going for the Macademy Award. Macademy? Like, the nuts? Enough! McReady? Get started! Ready? Um, hi! I'm, uh, the culprit who killed Jin. Now, prepare to witness an amazing show featuring this corpse! Final Fantasy? <sighs> Not only is your acting amateurish, but I don't even understand what kind of character you're trying to play here. I am an amateur! Well, this is just the beginning, so I'll give you a pass for now. Let's start with the positioning of the body. Where and how was it placed? Well... It was right here. The body was placed so it was hung like a bridge between two beams. You can place it like this because it was stiff from rigor mortis. Okay, there's... So, like, that's how they did the light trick. There's Carbon no way you know for sure CNT that would fall. were tied to the body. The CNT went up the beams and extended downward onto the light switch. CNT is too thin to be seen with the naked eye, so no one noticed it. Good thing they didn't I've got it all lights. set up. Now I just need to wait for the rigor mortis to subside. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in character? Boy, I sure hope the corpse <laughs> gets softer soon. It needs to be soft and squishy. 
Like an octopus! This scene makes no sense. I'm cutting it out. You made me do it! <laughs> and after time passed, rigor mortis began to subside. The body falls, and the impact sets off the ignition agent inside it. The fire travels up the fuse line. Soon after, a staff member turns on the lights. Bam! A body appears, as if it teleported in out of nowhere. Sometime later, the burning fuse inside the body reaches the explosives. Wouldn't they have found the, the nanotube when they moved the body away? And that is the truth behind the corpse's sudden appearance and explosion! Cut! Good work! I got some nice footage of the reenactment. I still don't understand why the acting was necessary. It burned? Do they burn like that? Would it, would it be visible when it burns? I don't think it would. It all makes sense now. Maybe it, it corpse didn't it's teleport attached. here after all. It's, it's part of, of it still hanging it there. Hmm. Though the culprit obviously wanted it to seem that way. Half of a body just suddenly appearing out of nowhere. Just like the Philadelphia experiment. Someone went through all that trouble to make it look like something strange occurred. It's Iris. I think they also wanted to draw as much attention as possible to that sign. All so they could spread that QR video. Okay, so was that half of the corpse chosen just because it would land and be flat when it gets down there? Hmm. God damn it with the mouse. Their goal was to make it seem like a supernatural phenomenon. That's why they couldn't leave the CNT on the scene. Because it would give away the trick? Right. So that's why they caused a thermite reaction and destroyed the CNT. Mm, I don't think that would destroy the CNT. I think it would definitely sever the connection to the body, so there might be a, like a frayed tube that's hanging in the air there that would still be attached to the uh, to the light switch. If it's that thin, I'm guessing it would like it would just feel like a cobweb, maybe, or maybe it would feel like nothing at all. If it's uh, how how thin is it? Oh no, nah, that's fine. That body fell from the studio ceiling. If it fell sideways when it landed. The culprit's plans would have been ruined. Yes, oh no! Like you said, it would have been pointless unless the sign was standing erect. CNT is highly flammable carbon material. It doesn't stand a chance against 3,000 degree temperature, but it bonds with oxygen to create carbon dioxide, which helps extinguish the flame. Um, I mean, definitely around it. I don't think it would it would trace back throughout the whole entire thing. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. And I know that because I'm an expert. Just like a man's, I'm on Twitch. you know what? Just like a man's, you know what? Again with that joke? Besides, it is not useless when it's not erect. Exactly. What? There was another purpose to the sign. It's the same reason darts and rockets have tails. I get it. The cut surface would naturally face the ground because of that sign. It was meant to control the body's posture as it fell. What? Uh, okay, that sounds wrong, but I don't know enough about aerodynamics of, of, uh, half corpses to say for sure. Okay. The culprit must have wanted the body to fall during the live stream, right? It would have been pointless otherwise. But could they really predict when rigor mortis that would makes disappear sense. so accurately? D does it? Does it? Or does it just sound like it makes sense? I think it just sounds like it makes sense, so we're all just like, eh, whatever. I don't, I don't think so. The culprit didn't put the corpse up on the ceiling beams while it was completely stiff. It had to have been after the body had started to soften, just slightly. That way, they could estimate that the body would fall in a few hours or so. They knew that- The stream was scheduled for a whole six hours. The culprit was fine as long as the body fell sometime during that period. Yeah, it makes sense. What if it was cancelled? <gasps> Miscalculated! <laughs> so. To wrap it all up, the culprit's motive was to make this seem like a supernatural phenomenon and to spread the QR video, right? I don't know if that's all there is to it, but probably. I wonder why Jin was chosen. Who knows? Where could his left side be? It hasn't been found yet. 
Anyway, starting our search with the people who might have the intel we need is the number one rule of investigation, right? Like who? Jin's right half was up in the studio ceiling the whole time we were shooting the show. There must be someone who knew about it, or at least noticed it. Didn't it, didn't they explicitly say that it was cut like at the intra molecular level or whatever? But where was the other cut that put the bomb inside? Where was that? Did we just not look hard enough? All right, I'm starting to really dislike this. I feel like they just didn't give any information whatsoever. Was that cut on this side and we just didn't look? This is stupid. You mean the director? Chimpei Wagai. He always had the bomb. Oh, he was born with the bomb. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. The shot football killer went back in time and put the bomb in. Okay. Right. Where is he now? I've tracked him down using his smartphone GPS. He's in Akihabara right now. At the Maid Cafe Sunfish Pocket. Uh-oh. Wilson. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. How hard do you like your ramen? Super hard. Yeah, extra hard. I like it too-y. Banjo too-y? Okay, I think, I think we're going to a new scene now. The map is open. Yeah. Right. Any more to talk? Alright. So that'll be all for today, everybody. We are 20 minutes over time. It is getting blisteringly hot in here. I'm actually worried about the computer. And also, um, I have, like, I have to end before 6.30 no matter what. So... That is, that is going to be it. So I will see you all tomorrow for more um, Silent Fells 2. I'm enjoying it, but um, so far I think the, the first game is better. The first game was, was more entertaining. Although this has had some entertaining moments so far. I, I am uh, picking up on the subtleties of chat that uh, there are people who are giddy waiting for us to get to the point where this falls apart because they want to see me react to it. I'm I'm very observant, very intelligent that I've managed to pick up on on this uh, this this incredibly incredibly subtle um, um, uh, current that's running through chatters and viewers. But I've got there. I've got there. Anyway, thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow for more. Uh, it'll probably be around the same time. Uh, I just said about chaos schedule. And now that we're out of the basement, kind of chaos schedules out of out of here because I can't stream at night anymore because Lily will be asleep and. Like, maybe earlier in the morning. I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea what's going to happen. It's kind of threw a curveball in our plans. It's kind of fucked up. Anyway. Anyway, that's it. I love her. See you later. Have a rest of your night. Doo -doo -doo.